and welcome back to Drachme and Demigods. I am Sammy Ferber, and I'll be your host for the evening. Thank you guys for joining us after uh, a week off. Thank you for coming back with us. We're excited for tonight's session. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, no announcements this week. Just, uh, as always, share our show if you like our show. Uh, and definitely, if you miss it, or if you just want to rewatch the highlights, either watch them again here on Twitch. The VOD is available for all of our subscribers. Or if you don't want to pay for a Twitch subscription, you can always watch our videos on YouTube as well. That is now the only place, our YouTube channel, where you can watch the entire adventure of the Hands of Fate, as Twitch deletes videos after X amount of time. So, with that being said, let's hop into the story. So, previously on Drachme and Demigods, the Hands of Fate were being hunted. They managed to survive two attempted assassination attempts from a mysterious figure who seemed to be after the Black Scale of Tiamat, an ancient relic believed to be one of the keys to reawakening the Dragon Queen. But, together with the Fey Slumber, a popular traveling band of bards, you discover that you didn't actually have the scale, instead only possessing a key to a series of protective chambers that would lead you to the scale. Some of your members decided to put the key in its place, opening the first chamber, before thinking better of it and closing it again. But the entrance was now uncovered. When you came back to the Lord's Mansion the following morning, you learned that others had seen this brand new crack in the wall, and that Katar, the half-elven member of the Fae Slumber, with an ability to constantly see magical energy, noticed a magical beacon emanating from behind the crack, calling out to those who would want to take the scale. Faced with narrowing options to keep the scale safe, you all decided, along with the Fae Slumber, to venture into these protective chambers, hoping to take the scale yourselves in order to find a new, safer place to house it. In the first chamber, aided by a potion of comprehend languages that Alexios consumed, you were given a history lesson about the birth of Tiamat, about how she was the corrupted, evil part of another entity named Kavma, before she became alive herself. Getting through this chamber was fairly swift, but the next chamber was not. This time you underwent a lesson in Tiamat's power, facing waves of skeletons that only seemed vulnerable to Tiamat's types of damage. You were forced to step into her shoes, causing pain and sorrow and death in order to progress. But these screaming hordes of undead proved to be overwhelming to you all, leading to a decision to retreat away from the fight. Adagio, Ilmay, and Anura teleported away with a gatestone, Alexios, Ryujin, and Eryx ran back out of the room, and Scorch dimension doored to join them. But unfortunately, Katar was left behind, surrounded by skeletons, keeping them busy as you all got to safety. So, as we hop into this moment, Alexios, Ryujin, you guys have run back through this tunnel and are now standing once again in this first chamber with the single table and the three doors, one of which is opened. As you guys emerge, Eryx follows behind you, and almost instantly as you get to this room, you hear a <laughs> and Scorch appears in front of you in the same room, panting, clutching her wounds. You all are looking worse for wear. Eryx looks around. Where's everyone? Where are the others? Did any of them take the gate stone? Um, Ryujin, you were still in the room when they left. I think they, I think they used the gate stone to get out. I hope. Uh, who all who all took the gate stone? Who was who, um, who's missing? That was Adagio, uh, Ilme, and Enora. That's right. I think it was Adagio, Ilme, and Anora. Hey, Cal. Scorch goes, Yes, they uh, teleported somewhere, but Guitar, um, he was surrounded. Eris looks at her. 
Where is he? He's... You understand, I... I, I, I could not get to him in time and, and get out myself. Either we were both going to die, or I could save myself. At that point, Eric's grab scorch throws her against the wall, pins her to the wall. Where is he? You all hear oh, his go. scream echoing through the crowd, echoing through the, the tunnel. The scream of a dying man. Eric just stands there. God, that fucking idiot. We have to get his body. And he starts moving back to the room. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, try and grab his arm. He if stops. they're still there... We we can't go. We need help. We what do you suggest we do? I sent for Odella and back up. They should be here soon. When they get here, I say we rest for a little while and then we all go in at full force and recover the tar. As of right now, going in is a death sentence for any of us or all of us. Scorch goes, the boy is not wrong. I am certainly not at my best, and neither are you, friend. He just sort of looks at all of you. Do we have a way to close this fucking door? Because we're going to get overrun by those things. We can close... I, we can close it from the outside, right? And I'm going to look at um, Alexios, hoping to have an answer. Because <laughs> you mean the I don't think Ryujin was there. Yeah, like the with the two statues. Um... I mean, it won't stop the magic from leaking out, but if we can get it securely closed, but if there's a lot of them, eventually that wall wouldn't hold unless it's magically sealed. Um, I mean, I don't have any more. I I can't I can't cast anything more until I I rest. I don't think we have anything to collapse it either. We uh, can't collapse it. He needs a burial. He deserves. We just need to buy us enough time to rest so we can get back in there and grab him. I say we go out and we shut the main entryway as far as we can. That should hold them for a few hours until backup arrives and until we're all hopefully rested up enough to re-enter. Yeah. Are they coming? Uh, the, are Make they... a perception check. Uh, yeah, do we you hear can, the, you the can't, clattering you can't, you of bones see, in the hallway? <laughs> you can't see to the other room because of all the twists and turns in the tunnel, but you can try to listen. 17. 17. You definitely hear the sounds of bone against bone, but at this distance and with this sort of wavy tunnel, you are not yet sure, unless you want to spend some more time just like constantly listening, you're not sure if that's the sound of a bunch of skeletons tearing into guitar or moving on down the hallway. Oh. But they don't. Th they definitely don't seem that they like stopped working. You know. I I don't I don't think we should risk staying here, even if they aren't. We should make the decision quick. If we're gonna leave, we should leave fast. I I think we should until backup arrives and we're all regrouped. Is Eric still choking Scorch? No, no, no. This entire time is just now. Yeah, now, now he's like sort of in in the doorway, heading back to the hallway. But Ryujin has sort of grabbed his arm and stopped him. All right, let's get topside. Close that door. Come on, right. and I'll start. I'll start walking out. He he doesn't fight you, and and the four of you and Forge do manage to get out of the room. But the the key that you would need to take out to close a door is still like twenty ish feet above you. Um can someone 
can we boost someone up there? Does anyone? I don't have anything I can cast to help with this right now. I could give someone a boost, like. <laughs> okay, I used to be a cheerleader. Platform me up and no, I don't. <laughs> um, I'm seeing if they climb? have any spells I could help. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, we can try to climb. I have decent acrobatics, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it's not it's not a sheer wall. I mean, like, there it, it is sculptures in this wall, so theoretically, you could try to find footholds on them. Yeah, I'll try and I'll try and climb it. All right, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. Okay. D and D Beyond wants to work. Athletics, you said? Yes. Oh, damn! I was hoping it would be acrobatics. Shit. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Twelve. Twelve. You do find a foothold that you feel confident in. It's sort of like <clears throat> on one of the 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 waves in the long toga that King Leothis is wearing, but that wave is only like a couple feet off the ground, and after that you're not very confident that there's another place to to stand like this. So you are like now two feet higher than you would have been. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'll I'll get down and say, um, Alexios, how how. How agile are you? You think you could make the climb if I gave you a boost? Uh, we gotta be fast. <laughs> yes. I actually wait, wait. You said athletics? Yes. Yep. It I'm is it is around hero. now that, that with your passive perceptions you do start to hear the sound of these bones clicking seeming to get a little bit louder. Okay, I'm gonna just get in, me, in position at, to like boost advantage? you. Like I'm sitting there, like 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 foot on my uh, or my hands locked on my knee to like give you a boost up a couple feet. Oh, practice. Scorch is going to cast enhance ability on you, Alexios, um, to give you advantage on strength checks. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna try an acrobatic <laughs> here, uh, athletics. Oh, that's good. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. So you do, you put your foot in that same little nook that Ryujin found, but there are some other waves and other sort of holds that Ryujin just wasn't confident enough in, but you're like, what's the worst that can happen? You know, you've fallen on your ass before, so you just start going for it, and with your finger strength, and like the, the calluses on your fingers from your days at the forge, you like have grip that Ryujin probably doesn't, as he's all slippery and watery. <laughs> so you do manage to climb up, climb up, and manage to get yourself onto the arm that this key is placed into. You grab it, go ahead and make a strength check to pull it out. Not at advantage, or...? Oh, this still would be, yes, still would be. Another dirty 20, natural 19. All right. So with a... Uh, uh, you feel the locks are click out of place, and you hear the... of these massive slabs of stone begin to shift. Uh, Ryujin, on the ground, you see as the stone is closing, the first arm, the skeletal arm, coming from the open doorway on the other side of this chamber. The skeletons I, are here. Can I Eldritch Blast to try and push it back with the, the 10 feet just to like maybe push several Go back ahead. a foot or two? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, da, 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 spells. Eldritch Blast. Oh, I rolled damage instead of to hit. Hold on. <laughs> um, 14. 14. That absolutely hits. So you fire your Eldritch Blast and you see the skeleton emerge into the doorframe before it poof, getting pushed back into the tunnel you hear the sound of like several different bodies that it hits on the way just in time to <laughs> seal the doors all that's left is that single long vertical <clears throat> crack okay you guys are in the council chambers of delphi you catch your breath you look around and a lot of you guys are injured eric's looks pretty bad scorch looks rough but you're alive Okay, how long has it been, realistically, since I, I've sent Kai to go and get Odella? It was during combat that you sent Kai. So not very long ago. So it's been, like, literally less than a minute, if not a minute. Okay. 
Um, listen, I can't do much right now, but I don't need to rest as long as everyone else. So if you guys want, if you want to take a bit to try and rest up, I can keep watch of the crack. I said before, we need actual prep time. You should have been more prepared before going into this. I mean, I don't think... What, and plus, this is the Lord's Palace. If that wall gives, we'll know. We just need to focus on going back in. And finding everyone else. That would be a good idea, too. Yeah. Odella and... Some other mages should be here soon. Um, until then, we're the only people that are really like a first line of defense. If this thing does open up anytime soon. Um, so I think we should wait here until backup arrives. And then after that, um, go rest up, plan what, how this is going to go down. And then come back at full strength with everyone. Gorgeous nods. Goes, yes, I think that is the best way to go about this. I'm just going to fall asleep right here on this marble, if that is all right. And she just like finds a corner up against a marble pillar and is just like out like a light. We could literally go back to our. Okay, never mind. There she is. You. Not now. We're staying close. As soon as we can. We're going back in there to get our friend. I mean, if you want to kill yourself, I mean, you, there's all types of danger around here. We'll get to him. I mean, just don't beat yourself up. and Don't kill yourself in pursuit of whatever that is. I just you good? I owe him a debt. That's all. I don't like owing people, especially when they could haunt me. There. Wait, haunt like we'll, we'll get him. I don't know. Those are real. He has unfinished business. He died in a horrific, violent way. It sounds like a fucking ghost to me. Yo, out of character? That's facts. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Tar the Wraith. Yeah. Qatar BBG. <laughs> uh, as this all is happening, Adagio, Anura, Ilmay, you guys pop into existence, <laughs> land, panicked in the midst of battle, open your eyes, Odella's office in the light's eye empty what are you guys doing as soon as we hit the ground and like i have my feet under me i'm going to immediately start running back towards the lord's peninsula okay so all of you sort of appear figure out where you are and anoris goes poof, and bursts through the door back through the tunnels of the okay, light's eye so 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 i'm faster than anora 100 so i'm gonna i'm gonna really quickly just, just grab me like wait 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 we need to we need to figure out if anybody's here and bring them with us. We can't just run off without any help, okay? I, well, we know we're in the light side. We need to find people to bring back there. We don't have people, enough manpower. I, we ha they're injured. Somebody has to heal them. And we, I've got to get back to them. Find people and bring them, but I have got to get back to them. We left we, them there. We have to trust that they can get out. We saw that they were all leaving when we left, too. Did I see that? I did I? I believe at the time you guys teleported away, people were starting to run into the tunnel. You don't know. I mean, there were certainly still several people that were surrounded by skeletons. So you can't say confidently they all got out, but it did look like they had all decided that that was the best move. I, somebody needs to get back and heal them. If the two of you can find people to come bring them with you i will not go back in that room there's no way i'm going back in that room right now but if they got out they still need to be healed okay all right well i'm gonna stick around and try and find some people 
um, in the office, would we see where like the gate stones are being kept since we would have been teleported to them? <laughs> um, make a perception check. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to steal them, you guys. I would just like to know if Odella is holding hers. <laughs> oh my god. I rolled it too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you appeared like basically next to her desk. It doesn't you don't looking around you don't see any other gate stones, so you're not quite sure. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Um never mind. Never mind. Alright, so Anura, you're running back. It will take you a bit of time. You're essentially almost across the entire city from where you just were. So it'll take you a bit of time to run back to the Lord's Mansion and get there. Okay. Um, as that's happening, Adagio and Ome, what are you guys doing? I'm going to use uh, my thog maturgy and run through the hallway <laughs> screaming like bloody murder. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? Oh, God, I don't know. There's bloody a murder. Bloody murder. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know. Yeah, murder at the Lord's Mansion. I'm a, I'm a straight down. I don't know. What would I... Help! Help me, please, God! <laughs> I'm someone. God. Make anybody uh, just just make a, a straight D twenty roll. Uh, it's a thirteen. Thirteen. Out so, of two. the light's eye is definitely not as busy as it once was. Ever since the the death of the Oracle, a lot of people have just sort of gone their own ways. Um, the only people that are that are left are either. People who still need to find some sort of guidance regardless, or people who are just loyal to Odella, and, and this is really the only place I've ever had a home. Um, so there's, the tunnels are not nearly as busy as they once were, so there aren't a ton of people who hear your cry. But you do hear someone uh, run up, uh, a short figure in, in silhouette as, as he approaches, but it looks like he has some sort of uh, longbow strapped over his shoulder. He goes, I heard... Oh... And you see, it is uh, everyone's no, everyone's no, favorite. No, no. No, God. It would be. <laughs> wait, wait, I totally wait. Hold on, I'm blanking on it. Wait, who was it? I I don't know what just happened. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I need to find his name because this is this I is too, so. is too good of a moment. Thought? Oh my God, I forgot yes, about him. Yes, it's too good of a moment. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. I feel so bad. Perrin, it's Perrin. I love Perrin. I knew instantly. I was like embarrassed. The stream is I'm so mad I'm not here. Can I, can I roll Perrin, to see so if someone context, else is coming? <laughs> for context, is there anyone the else is. around? I want to make uh, a really quick show of looking around and being like, Perrin. Did they? The street, the street, because Perrin was so. there for a job interview at your house, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot about we totally him. like told him no too. Yeah. He's a snob. A He's a snob. Yeah. And he goes, "What is all this about?" Can I make a really big show of like grabbing him on the shoulders and be like, "Is there anyone else around? Anyone else? <laughs> Maybe someone qualified?" No, I just stuck with you. <laughs> oh, oh my okay. god. <laughs> you don't have any like friends? No, I suppose you don't. Um. <laughs> I guess you'll do. Just destroyed this whole this man's whole career. Oh my god. <laughs> god. This is just adrenaline pumping Adagio who almost died. Okay. okay. So, uh, damage, then. Yeah, if you were a bard, that's vicious mockery like times five. For sure. Um, he just dropped dead right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so okay. we have people in danger and I need someone with elemental magic to come help me. Uh, elemental magic. That's not exactly my strong suit. I am good at um, banishing or, or psychic damage. I didn't quite damage. ask what you're good at. I asked if you had <laughs> elemental magic. If you're useless, you, you can that? point to someone who can help me. Oh! Wait, I have a question. Yeah. If he's good at banishing, could he banish the skeletons? One at a time? He doesn't have <laughs> magic what <laughs> <would> you need. <laughs> Yeah, but um, like he can help clear a path back to Qatar. I'm just asking. This is he, he can I'm only talking. he can only use uh two of his special arrows that banish things uh per short rest. So oh, never mind. He's useless. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, I'll turn to him and be like, "Look, huh? do you know of where anybody's at? Uh, do you know the whereabouts of Odella or anything like that?" Odella's. Last I heard, she was at the Lord's Mansion, and in terms of 
gifted people who used to be here, you hired Amber and Keth, who are two of the most gifted people we had. So sorry if you have slim pickings. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn to Adagio. Uh, do you, can you, do, do you have any spell slots left? Do you have any spells I, that you can? I only have first and second level spell slots left. I don't know what, do you have sending? That's the third level. That's a third, I don't know what level uh, it is. Okay, so never mind. I don't know. What you guys can't even communicate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can. I can. I'm going to blow into my horn of whatever it's called. Silent what alarm. Do do? Silent, I think of Ryujin and hope he hears me just for fun. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's 500 feet, so no, oh, he man, wouldn't hear it I'm at all. Look, oh, the horn of silent alarm? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. okay I wanna, then I want to see it's useless and just blow as hard as I can and think about the dude in front of me. <laughs> ah! What oh, sorry, done? I just wanted to make sure it was working, you know. <laughs> I have a question about yeah. something real quick. Yeah. If I cast Summon Faye, since it has a higher speed than me, can I make it either go back with them or go ahead of me? Um, I would assume, is there any sort of, uh, like, language in the spell that says that it disappears if it's X amount of distance I away from you? I don't think so. Let me see. Summon Faye. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Out of all the people, all the people. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, you could totally do that. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't think I have a component. Oh, yeah, but you need a gilded flower worth at least 300 gold. But it doesn't say yeah. that it uses it, so since it doesn't use it, does my it, focus it's... count as it? No, it's still a gold amount of something oh, okay. that you need. Sorry. Never mind, then. The spell is useless! <laughs> Just like Perrin! Is <laughs> Perrin <laughs> like... <laughs> Useless. I think Perrin's even more useless than the spell material. I kind of want to just punch him for no reason. Like, he's <laughs> done nothing rude to me, but he's Listen, just... we have enough problems right okay. now. Okay. Right. I'm going to turn, okay. turn my back to Perrin and, like, start talking to Ilmay. Okay, Ilmay, we got things to do and places to be, and apparently no one useful is in the light's eye anymore. So what's the plan from here? We could always go to... Oh, well, I was going to say Kenai, but you're also Ilmay, so... Um... <laughs> We, uh, he has powerful magic, and if his students know elemental yeah, magic... Yeah, but he doesn't okay, need no, to know about wait, this. Wait, because as soon as we ask Odella for help and we say magic, everyone in the town will be talking about magic, and if we don't invite Kenai, the next archmage, he's going to be like, yo, what's up? I'm just going to pop up because it's my job to. And we can't invite like every other sorcerer and magician and just be like, fuck you, Kenai. Did, he's going like, to learn anyway. He's just gonna, Did like, they hear me um, send Kai? Who all heard that? Oh god, I don't, I don't remember and what what the order was of things uh, that happened. To go what happened? And, and I basically just told him to go get I would I would and, say like, I would say they power, didn't elemental mages. Just due to the amount of chaos that was that fight okay. with all the noise and all the the fighting, you could have shouted at Kai to do something and they wouldn't have heard you. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um I think our best bet is to go where Odella is at um, and get me with her and figure out what's what we need to do. So I guess we'll just, since nobody's here, might Outside as well just and grab our peoples. Rally do you want to leave our? You want to leave? You want to leave our house without them there? Leave Karen there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can have that job for the day. Um, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we could leave. I don't, okay, well, we could just find out what kind of magics they have and just be like, you're useful, you're not, you're useful, you're not. Um, here, stay here, you come with us. Okay, all right. All right, so we'll, we're going to run by the uh, Sunbrow. Sunbrow. All right. So, as you guys are making your way back to the city, let's go back to our... Uh, other group here. So you guys are settling in for at least a short rest here in the council chambers. Is there anything else we'd like to do as this time progresses? You see Scorch is like just trying to get some shut-eye. Uh, Eryx is still just sort of pacing around the room, sort of taking in all, everything that's been happening. I just want to keep a very watchful eye while I'm resting on that crack. Okay. I can give somebody like a little bit of healing because I forgot I had cure wounds. So if anybody's on their deathbed, I never heal. This, this would have been nice earlier. 
<laughs> we have listen whole, yeah, by having, the way i know it's no, like 30 sessions in but i can actually heal people um <laughs> <laughs> having pre-bested healers is annoying y'all can I heal still, all that are heal i still think the funniest thing is is the person who does all the healing was also the one who died so that's true i was too busy fireballing everything I also found out that I could have been giving people temporary hit points, but I didn't realize that was a thing I could do. Bummer. I'm a bit preoccupied with my depth perception. Uh, I have... Needs a no, cure I, wound? I think all of your friends need a cure wounds. Maybe Scorch, who's like... Scorch yeah, Scor cool. Scorch, like, just raises an eyebrow and goes, Me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. My bad. My bad. I'm just gonna need you guys to like all sit down together, and then we just go over all our spells and be like, "Look, you guys, we're actually going I can to do this. <laughs> start planning things so that they fit together." <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I think we we should. We should. Thought, like when <laughs> I saw. Ten points. Help. Ten points. So when I saw Alexia's do shield for the first time, I was like, "Is that a thing you could do? How long have you been able to do this? What is happening?" <laughs> yeah. uh, Alexia, that was ten points to who? Scorch. Gotcha. Thank you. She takes it, she goes, oh, fuck, I knew I liked you. <laughs> as, as, this, as this rest is happening, you guys do hear the scratching of bony fingers against the, the thick stone archway. And every time it happens, Eric just sort of looks and... Okay, Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm watching. They even start to get through. I'll call it out. What the hell am I even doing here? Could ask myself the same thing. <laughs> Adagio. Excuse you. Curiosity killed the entire party. <laughs> call me Curiosity. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> There's something you guys need to know. Wait, what's that? That it wasn't curiosity that brought us all here. What do you mean? I mean, I like you guys. And I'm tired of lying to you. And he's dead now, so... If I'm getting haunted, I might as well get haunted all the way. This was all him. It was all his plan. I'm what sorry. do you mean, all of it? The like assassinations. From, from... Oh, fuck. so the the explosion that singed off half of my left eyebrow <laughs> that was that was guitar. It was. And the invisible and you... assassins that he hired. Look, so we were sent on a wild goose chase. Because... Because Qatar answers to some powerful people. And some... Not necessarily people in power. Fully out of character? I've got about not... three guiding bolts left. Uh, <laughs> I think I know where they're going to be directed. <laughs> Listen, unlimited Eldritch Blast, they're not resistant to these damages, okay? If we get his body, I can always speak with dead. Oh my god. True. Guitar, how much did you love me? <laughs> Anime. All of my Not questions. Look, I... I was never supposed to get this bad. So he why, just needed... Why are we here? Why are you here? Why did you guys come here in the first place? I came here to meet Lord Pythonis. That's true. But that's not why he's here. That's not why he was here. He was here for that scale. He serves not just himself. I don't ask too many questions, but... I was the first person he picked up on the Feywild. And then he... went around other planes of existence trying to find... Great performers. He looks over at, at Scorch and sort of makes sure that she's asleep. Before we went to the fire plane, and before we picked up her, 
we went to the Swamp Plane. And something happened to him. I don't really know what it was, but he changed. Wait, 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 wait. The Swamp Plane. Is, is it like... You went there too? Yeah. What did it look like? Green? Swampy? I, I don't know. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it checks out. <laughs> it checks out. This guy's not lying. Sounds like a swamp to me, man. It was, um... He acted strange after that. And eventually, I confronted him about it, and he told me that he'd been having these strange dreams. And then... He met something there. Something ancient, something powerful. And she made a deal with him. She made a pact with him. What do you and... mean? Like, and you don't have any idea what this being or creature that you made a deal with was? Over the years, with context clues, I can piece two and two together. Something... And? Something dragon-esque. Something black. No. I'm just not Sammy, dead. you son of a bitch. <laughs> but... He came clean with me. And I came clean with him about my parentage and we agreed to keep each other's secrets so I helped him disguise himself as just one of us we covered him in jewelry we taught him how to play instruments we made him a bard so no one would suspect and I I didn't think it would be anything crazy. I thought, I have my secrets. Everyone's got their secrets. As long as he's just bringing together a, a great fucking band, why do I care? And I didn't. Up until we found out about what happened here. And he started having dreams again. He felt called here, and it was his patron who told him that you all were the key in getting this scale, bringing it back to her. So we decided to play you. He asked for my help. I agreed. It worked out for me too, I mean. I wanted to get close to you, so I could get close to the Lord. He wanted to get close to you, earn your trust, so that we could find out if you had the scale. So, so he hired those guys. He specifically hired them so that we could save you, so that you would trust us. And I almost died like twice. <laughs> yeah. Look, things got out of hand. I. Qatar has many things that he believes. And he follows many different creatures in this world. It's, it's not just the dragon. He has a, some sort of wealthy person back in Xander that is his money bags so he can do whatever he needs to do. And My question he... is Qatar's obviously intelligent, not stupid, okay? Way smarter than myself. Um, why didn't he fall back with the rest of us? Because he was so close to the scale. Because he's an idiot. 
this would have been a minor it, listen in the grand scheme of things the way i see it if he would have fell back with the rest of us it would have been a minor temporary setback in his plan and he would still be alive so that doesn't make much sense to me i, I can can't speak so for smart, him do something so stupid He's always been greedy. Too greedy for his own good. He was hoarded by this dragon with ideas of wealth and fame. He was courted by this woman back in Xander with the same things. He devoted his life to these people being so close to victory. I don't know. I suppose okay. the chambers are doing what they're meant to. All that language about killing those who are here for the wrong reasons. Well, it certainly did that. Okay, with with everything they just said, all that laid bare. Now that Qatar is, I'm sorry, most likely out of the picture. What are, what are your goals? What are you, and Scorch, gonna do? I know it like this just happened, so I don't I don't mean to rush anything or any decisions you have, but. For all of his flaws, he was my friend. For years, he was my best friend. His body deserves to rest. That is my only short-term goal, is bringing his body back to Xander. After that, I've got my own personal shit to deal with. What, Pythons? Yeah, gonna... He's not what I expected him to be. But no, yeah. I think I'll just <clears throat> leave him ignorant. I have a bigger bone to pick. What's that? My mother. So, okay, <laughs> just because I um, the information is a little funny, funny, wow, fuzzy. Um, <laughs> uh, Eric's is demigod, right? Yes. Okay. His mother is yeah. Aphrodite. So I'm just gonna gesture to his uh, his eye, which is purple. Yep. And just kind of like with like a puzzled look on my face, just kind of point to it. Is that is that the the bone you gotta pick? I don't know what the, what what happened. Well, not quite. That have been the, last couple so days. the only person who knows that he's a demigod is me, though, right? Because I never told them. I guess that's true. The only person uh, who knows is me. Y'all don't know. Yeah. Gotcha. He goes, um... I didn't expect to like you guys, but I do. You got heart. Even if you are a bit green. And he just shows his heavily tattooed arm, the one with the large apple tree that hides his radiant brand of the apple. He goes, um, this fake eye was my doing in order to gain entry into my mother's kingdom, but that's not the bone I have to pick. She's, uh, cruel and she could love you one day and hate you the next she loves surrounding herself with beautiful things but she hates something being more beautiful than she is that's a tough balance so she took me in loved me because I was beautiful but when I started to allow others in her kingdom to see my beauty she started getting jealous so she cursed me 
and cast me out. And I'd like to say thanks. So, I've been shown the Radiant Brand now, correct? And I feel yes. like Reuben's dumb, but he's not that dumb, okay? Sure, yeah. Um, would he recognize, like, the Radiant Brand for, like, like the symbol? On, yeah, I would say, I mean, all of you are fairly good with religion. You're, I mean, your specialty is your own god, but the holy symbols of the main Olympian gods are everywhere in your society. So you would know that the Golden Apple is the symbol of Aphrodite. Okay. So, right, well, love can be quite fickle. I'm just going to flip up my eye patch, which I feel like he probably already knows about, but yeah, just to like, I don't know, comfort, I guess. I got no idea. I'm just here, man. <laughs> is Hephaestus still married to Aphrodite? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, can oh. you imagine how awkward that would be if I played like a child of Aries? Because I was thinking about it for a bit. I was like, yeah. no. Yeah, but Ooh, but Alexios, you, you would you would know the details of their relationship. That yes, they are married, but Aphrodite has no love for Hephaestus. Really, she's really in love with Ares. Um, but Hephaestus has really no hard feelings towards Aphrodite. He makes her beautiful things, and he likes looking at a beautiful thing, which is her. Um. But yes, they're by no means happily married. So is Eric's um, Alexius' stepbrother? <laughs> In the sense that, like... Your dad <laughs> and his mom are married? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, technically. Percy Jackson, everybody can date everybody because it's not DNA. Are you trying to date Eric's? Because <laughs> first of all, <laughs> back off. Are you? <laughs> I'm trying to date my way through all of that. I know, and Nora hasn't got any stake in that anymore. Any romantic feelings when they find this out? Crushed. Gonna, yeah. It's okay. I love sloppy leftovers. Let's go. Eric, By the way, remember, remember, Anora, remember when you oh, you caught Qatar lying twice, and then the third time you were unsure if he was lying yeah. when he said that he was just gonna take the scale and sell it to. What did he roll on that out of curiosity? Can I know? A now? natural twenty. Fuck! I couldn't have caught him. <laughs> Because <laughs> his yeah. charisma is probably higher than what my perception is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, and then I'll just ask him, okay, so you have you have your own short-term goals and plans that you need to do. Um, what, about, what about Scorch? You know? He just looks over at her sleeping form. I don't. I... She's a damn good performer, and that's what she wants to be, the world's best. I don't know. Listen, it may have been under the wrong circumstances, sure, but I think most, if not all of us, came to trust you guys anyway, especially you and Scourge. So, I mean... I get that that Qatar roped you guys in. You were all very close, and now, you know, they've passed. So, listen, if you ever... It's tough out there for people like us on their own. So, if you ever find yourself back in Delphi, or... We have a cross paths again after this. You know. It'll be a welcome face, I think. I'll tell you what. If you guys help me get his body out of there, then whenever you need a son of Aphrodite, you call. Got yourself a deal. I'll go out for a handshake. He shakes it. I'll take the favor, but I definitely don't trust you. <laughs> he sort of he, he chuckles. At, he chuckles at that. I wouldn't trust me either after what we've done to you. Well, Ryujin is the fool. <laughs> Any way we can convince you not to go after your godly mother? Yeah. So, what do you plan to do with that? I mean, I don't know. You know it's a long, long journey back home. 
Maybe I'll perform a bit on the way. Kill some monsters on the way. Come up with a plan on the way. I don't know. But I thought my father would bring me answers, and he has none. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. If having a god as a parent would teach you anything, I mean, I feel like it should teach you. Sometimes, if not most it, of them, we don't need them, right? What did Aphrodite see in Pythonus? That's my question. I mean, no, no offense, but he's a bit of a goof. I mean, <laughs> I have a looks question. Nice. Yeah, he what's your question? Nice. He's a good looking guy. Thomas has like a memory block or something, right? Yeah. Who learned that? Eric's did. But who did he tell? Me. Only? I'm the it. only one who knows everything, but what he just revealed is I yeah. know it. I'm the only one who knows everything else. <sighs> okay. I mean... But Eric does look at you, Alexios, and he goes, I don't know. Maybe it is a suicide mission. Maybe there's a couple people I could take off my list before I get there. I'm sorry, list? You have a list? Eric's is very much just starting to sound like a, the big bad of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's very Yeah, you guys know someone called Lathos. Like, I'm, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Yeah, I very much, those as a big bad. <laughs> I very much like flashed back to like the prophecy where like a either. group of demigods were gonna like decide the fate of um, Olympus, and I was like, I mean, if Eric's had like two other demigods, sure, that's a group of demigods down with the gods. Um, but Eric says, uh, even before the dragon got to Qatar, that woman in Xander already had her fingers in him lent him down this path do you so know maybe more about this woman in Zando? i i know she's a part of their wealthy elite i think at one point he may have referred to as a a grand countess but he never said her name all i know is when he came up with the plan for the assassination plots Suddenly, he had invisibility potions. And then when that went the way it did, and he needed a new plan, suddenly he had that necklace. That fireball necklace. I don't suddenly, know. like, they just came out of thin air? I woke up, and he had them. I don't know how she's getting him this stuff, but it's all coming from her. And I don't know what her intentions are. But I have a feeling that I'm not going to like her when I meet her. Guys, let's rob the Grand Countess. All right, we're going to get so much cool <laughs> shit. Have you met this Apparently. Countess? No. He keeps her very close to his chest. Do you know how he talked to her? I don't. Like I said, I had my secrets. He had his... The term best friend is bandied about a lot yeah. with you people. Uh, huh? Also, yeah, uh, you said he uh, ke keeps her close to his chest. I think it's he kept her close to his chest now. I'll see that, is that, is <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um, that is true. count the short rest? You guys aren't really doing anything, right? Yeah, just talking. Just laying on the floor, sprawled out, you know, bleeding, yeah. just chilling, fine. Sharing um, more stories as you I'll heal. Hang out. at this point. Hold on. So I will say about about thirty minutes into this short rest, um, Odella and a couple of guards rush into the council chambers. Odella with her quarterstaff out. She goes, "What's happened?" Um. I received word. Uh, uh, your uh, imp fellow. We failed. What do you mean? It was... There was these these trials. And... We failed. We lost one. And we failed. At this point, Odella looks around at the people in the room. She goes... Dear Lord. 
Have you lost half of your party? Oh, no, we only <laughs> no, lost no, no, no. one person. <laughs> um, we only lost one. The rest used uh, Gatestone, I believe, the emergency one that they had. Ah, that is a bit of a relief, at least, though it's still a tragedy. What it's... is... Okay. Really quickly, I'll just give like a, like a fast rundown about the, sure. the so you know like the whole elemental damage and all that stuff, and we are not prepared for it, um, and that's why I sent Kai to get you and hopefully some other elemental mages because we were vastly outnumbered and power was dwindling quickly. I see. Well, um, I'm not much of a, a mage of any sort, really. I, I do have some, some basic magic, but not of the variety that you would need for, for your uh, help. I can do some, some basic uh, radiant and fire damage, but... Uh... Do you have any items that could assist us, by chance? Like a... No, but I, I do have a network of, of powerful mages in, in the city. Do you want me to Call uh, Scribe Mage Kenai. Ah, uh, no. No. Listen, we need to keep this under wraps if possible. Um, of course. There were there were so many, there were so many. There were, like that. You see that crack? I'm just, I'm just I do. Point. They're right on the other side. Lovely. At, um, at least two dozen, and they can only be killed by a specific type of damage specific type of, of element well fire are taken care of a handful of lightning and ice i think are as well but there's a lot of like what poison and acid right poison and acid poison and acid and we just we weren't we weren't prepared we didn't prepare and beforehand we just waltz, waltzed in uh, we didn't know what to expect and um, yeah. Well, if you want to keep all of this very close to the chest, I would recommend using what is already at your service. Uh, I know Keth has some elemental magic, though it's not exactly his forte, but I have seen him do elemental damage before. What type? Uh, I've seen him do lightning and poison and that sort of thing okay. like nobody's business. we just Odell, is there any way that we could get our hands on I list I know that the resources are thin with everything that just went down recently but is there any way we could get our hands on some at least like potions of healing or you know, anything that could assist us with this because you know, we really can't afford to lose anyone else. And there were a lot. And we're, we don't know what else is going to come after this part of the trial. There could be five more events more difficult than this. Of course. I will um, see what I can muster from the, the city's supplies. Okay. Also, if possible... Could we trade out that that gate stone for another one to use, just in case? I know that they're city special, um, but yes, I'd all hate right. To, to lose someone else, <laughs> you'll we'll give it back. I promise. Will you? Yes, I will see to it. If you give me this one, I will hand it back afterwards. I swear. All right. Well, I I don't have any on my person. I have to go back to the light's eye to grab them. Okay. But I will see about those healing potions and I will let you know. All right? Okay. Thank you. Until you then, stay here. here. I can I can I can bring the guards. I can keep the guards here if you'd like. I mean, they could notify if, somebody. If you see the rest of the hands, uh let them know just to, that we're still here, that we're okay. Of course. Uh, we got separated when they used the gate stone. Right. You will stay put. I will see what I can do. Thank you. All right. 
the guards do stay just sort of at this point guarding the entrance to this room as Odella leaves. Um, Adagio, Ilme, and Anura. Uh, are you guys all heading to uh, Sunbra Manor together? I thought Anura left already. Oh yeah, and Anura, you're you're, you're heading back there, yeah. Um, yeah. So How Ilme, close Adagio. am I to being there? Uh, probably another fifteen minutes. Yeah. Uh, Ilme, Adagio, you guys make it to Sunbrown Manor where you see uh, all of your your staff currently just doing basic housework. We are having an emergency staff meeting. Staff meeting. Talk about sorry. Staff meeting. <laughs> Every, everyone's Amber and Cat <laughs> still are angry. Or I don't know how I alert. I told them last time, right? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Amber, at, as God. as you shout with with thaumaturgy, Amber comes rushing forward, like, what? Oh, how's it going? How's your day? <laughs> A bit stressed. <laughs> yeah. Us too. So what kind of magic do you have? Uh, mostly uh, radiant and, and fire. I, I I get all my power from Apollo. That's true. We could use it for healing. Um, who else came with her? Uh, everyone is sort of making their way over. Uh, okay, Keth, great. Keth does appear uh, in the hallway soon after. The rest of the Hands of Fate are at the Lord's Mansion and dealing with some powerful things. Um, I'm going to need a rundown of elemental magic. Who can cast and who can come with us? Um, you only have one mage on your payroll, which is Keth. Um, but Keth does have um, lightning lure and poison spray, which are cantrips for lightning and poison. He also has a first level poison uh, spell and a first level acid spell. So we still don't have... Oh no, wait, okay, that's both of them. I'm them. Okay, great. Keth, my love, mi amor. You're coming with us. Uh all right. Uh do I need to bring anything? Um, what do you have? Why do you say it like that? What are you um, offering? How how long am I gonna be gone? Um Um Ilme, my youngling. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. How long do you think we'll be bringing Keth with us? <laughs> Keth? Why do I always say it weirdly? Uh, I, I would think... Yeah. Um, basically, it'll take much longer than a day to get everything ready, hopefully, because I don't want this to spread. So the faster we can get people to uh, in there, the better. All right. Um, after you, I suppose. Um, our fighters, the, the grandpa and the son. Yeah. You two, high alert. The other two, be safe. Uh, Amber. Uh, do you want me to come with you for yes. healing? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. I love you. <laughs> she goes up to the to the grandpa. She goes, "You're in charge now, friend." He just sort of nods stoically and, and pulls his sword out. Ambrose, you I really hope him. he doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope he doesn't. A dragon. Die. <laughs> uh, so now with and Amber and Keth, Amber and Keth in tow, you guys make your way to uh, the Lord's Mansion. So about fifty minutes pass in in the the council chambers before uh, there is a knock on the chamber doors. The guards answer the door before opening it and letting Anura rush in. We haven't taken a, a short rest yet, right? You're still within it. You're still within it. Gotcha. Sounds good. So Hello, Nora. I could... Katara. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking uh, Dora, and I said Katara. Oh, my, my God. <laughs> I adore... Uh, is everyone okay? Do, like, mm, I, I don't know what happened. In fairness, I was unconscious for most of that fight. We're a little worse for wear, but I think we're okay. Yeah. It's true. So look, looking around, you do see Scorch sleeping in a corner, seemingly breathing. Um, Eric, at this point, has sat on these marble steps, and you see your party members. Um, and knowing who you popped out of existence with, the only person missing is Qatar. Where, where's Qatar? What happened? He didn't make it. Why didn't he leave? I'll just look over at Eric's. Eric just, just looks at you guys and goes, 
I really don't want to say this whole fucking thing again. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll he, he, he goes up. He goes up to Anora. He goes. I'm sorry that I couldn't be fully honest with you until just now. I want you to know that I like you, and I'm sorry that I've been lying to you. But Qatar is the one behind all of this. As soon as he says that, before he can say anything else, I am immediately going to grab him by the throat with one hand, throw him against the wall, and ready guide, guiding bolt on the other. Hey, 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 that's that's not necessary. Right? You put now. him up against the wall. He, he. Nope, it's necessary. He cracks a bit of a smile. I kept your secrets. <laughs> All right, then keep your secrets. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm trying not to write character. God damn it, Gavin. <laughs> he just looks at you, and I'm grateful for that. I told you things they don't know about me, and you lied to me. Give me one good reason why I don't let this spell go right in your face. Because I'm being honest with you now. Prove it. All right. If I could get my neck free for oxygen. I will, okay, I will let go of his neck, but I'm going to keep Guiding Bolt like ready in the background. Sure. He just sort of rubs his neck. All right. Here's my last piece of information. He's a really good liar. Guitar. So I good. guess it's much. Sometimes I don't even know when he's lying. So it's fully possible that there is a magical beacon coming out of this thing. But it's also fully possible that there's not. So... Didn't if Odella is... say that was a thing, though? Or Odella Qatar said does... Qatar saw it, because Qatar is the one who can see magic. If I cast detect, I don't know if I have detect magic, but if I was to prepare detect magic, can I see that as a thing? Or would I just feel the magic, like, in the yeah, area? You'd, yeah, you know you'd, I mean? you'd be able to know. You'd be able to know. Okay, let me see if I have it prepared, because I don't remember if I do or not. So what you're saying is there might not be any reason at all for us to get Katara's body. Well, no. There is reason to get Katara's body, because I'm fucking asking. But there's not necessarily a reason to continue afterward. <laughs> we don't owe you anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I don't oh. owe any of the Listen, secrets. Listen, I already I said I would help him. If you won't, then I'll tag along. Because I don't know what else, what you've told them and what you haven't, but I bet there's stuff they still don't know. Reunion? Um, I know that you like to help. Right? <laughs> and you have this complex thing where you don't like people who came with you to not leave with you. But you do realize that part of their whole reason being here included an assassination. I understand. That we were supposed to win, but an assassination attempt nonetheless. And I agree, that's that's pretty fucked up, you know? I wouldn't have done that myself, you know? But I, I gave my word, and, you know, that's that's that, you know? I mean, listen, if we can get in and get out quick without having to fight all these things, uh, you will, we'll, we'll try, <laughs> but, you know, I mean... We'll, the point we'll just, of the we'll thing is to get it. in there, get the body, and get you do realize that fighting these things are yeah. definitely on the wait how tall is like the the corridor like how tall is it from from skeleton reach to the roof how, how far is that uh in the tunnel or in the room both in the the first chamber that was the chamber chamber with just the three doors uh there's probably a good five to ten feet above them depending on where you are in the room because it's a curved uh roof the tunnel it's um, much shorter, maybe only at most five feet above them. And then in the large room that you were originally fighting them in, there's a good 20 feet above them. 
so yeah, none, of, none of us can in, fly, right? In theory, with that though, I can turn into like a spider or something and stay on the ceiling. Sure. And figure out a way to get Katara's body. I'm assuming. How? Hold on, Ryujin. Well, not Ryujin. Kai probably can't lift very much, right? Correct. Yeah, he's a negative two strength. So. Yeah. But I mean, like, the water, theory, I can do that. What if we gave Kai a, a gate stone? <laughs> Use this. No, could that work? <laughs> Wait, could I have the gate stone as a spider? Uh, when you turn into an animal, everything that you're carrying like becomes the form with you. So you saying, wouldn't, like, you wouldn't if, be able to activate it. But like, if they hand me one after I turn into the spider. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I somebody's got to convince Honora to do that, but I can do that. Um. I do have detect magic prepared, by the way. All right, do you want to cast detect magic? Uh, yes, if D&D Beyond would finish loading, I can see detect magic, and that's all I can see, basically. Okay, great. <laughs> well, let's say that you cast detect magic. Um, do you have a spell slot for detect magic? I do. I was okay. unconscious for enough of that that I do. <laughs> great, love it. Um, so you walk over to a little bit closer to this crack in the wall and cast detect magic. Immediately you are hit with this powerful blast coming from the crack of necromantic energy. He wasn't lying. That would be the undead, right? Out of character. Is that, yeah, out of character, is that actually just the undead or is that like what's constantly going? Make an arcana check. Fuck. Hey, I get to use my fancy new dice. Ooh. That I'm too scared to roll. Um, yeah, that was really scary. Uh, 23. 23. Um, definitely powerful surge of necromantic energy coming from the skeletons that are currently, like, all up in this crack. Um, and now you can, you can hear them, like, scratching away at this crack, making, like, negligible damage. Um, but they definitely do feel like the source of the necromantic energy. With an Arcana check that high, you do feel something underneath it that's almost almost being smothered by this powerful necromantic fog that you're looking through. But there's something else there that's more um, pulsing, almost like a heartbeat. It's not there, then it's there, and it's gone, and it's there, and it's gone. But it's unlike anything you've seen or, or felt before. It doesn't even... You know with this spell that you can understand what school of magic you are reacting to. This doesn't even feel like it necessarily fits in a school of magic. It feels more like it's older than that. Uh, then I'm going to at least tell everybody that, I guess. Well, I guess we gotta go into dungeon then. Um, immediately wait, wait. I'm gonna it go... older? Yeah. How does everyone look as far as I, hit points? Like, I know you can look at so much back from... How does it... How can magic be older? I just thought magic was magic. The gods are older. There's primordial beings older than the magic that we know. And that's what Tiamat is. Katar wasn't lying about that, at least. We read that on the wall, remember? Well, I read that. You read it out loud, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. No, Everything written on walls is true. Um, how does everyone look on hit points? Um, I mean, after the short rest, I think I'll be okay. Like, yeah, you guys, you guys are like almost done with a short rest, so they're looking like they're getting rest? better. I mean, mm -hmm. And I mean, hot. I didn't take a lot of, I didn't take a lot of damage, not really. Yeah, Eric's so, also is not that, that bad. Scorch is is pretty bad, but she's almost done with a short rest. I have 11 hit points, um, but I'm also not there. I'm pretty sure we should probably take a long rest, though, because most of us can't do shit without a long rest. It's true. Yeah. It also allows you to prepare new spells. What time of day is it? 
Uh, it's it's evening. Okay. Um, it's around dinner time. I'm gonna look at everybody. <laughs> Considering that, because actually, no, uh, I'm totally lying. It's it's mid it's midday because you guys came here in the morning and saw the crack and then went in. So it's midday. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say we should probably come back to this after we all have a long rest because we can't do shit. Uh, considering I almost died because we were lied to multiple times, I'm gonna go before I murder somebody. Uh, if you need me, I'll be in the Temple of Artemis, but I'm not gonna be back here till tomorrow because I really, I, no. There's a very I mean, good possibility Eric and Scorch won't wake up if I stay here right now. I don't think Scorch knew anything. Scorch is uh, I don't know. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Eric's yeah, I'm just saying nothing? this is like the third time in what a week that Anora's trust has been betrayed. <laughs> Anora's. You don't trust anybody else, so. Okay, let's 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 count. <laughs> Nemosini, Adagio, what are you Eric, trusting? Well, um, you have betrayed my trust too. That, so I didn't that say I did also, but no, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> cancels. It cancels. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you can works. really blame the tightness for betraying I, your trust <laughs> i'm not blaming her i'm still i still get my trust betrayed though um i yeah Fuck. <laughs> i'm gonna leave before i kill somebody <laughs> you're gonna miss the bbg dinner. is gonna be the one npc you guys always trusted <laughs> i literally literally it's literally just gonna be oh, odella Della. and her wife that's it <laughs> the rest of the npcs are dead to me they could be in front of me dying and i would not cast a spell slot to heal them Amazing. Here. Now I gotta make an evil Odella arc. <laughs> oh. He went from a Nora villain arc to Odella villain yeah. arc. <laughs> well, you got you also trusted Python or not Python? Uh, Phaeton before for the he died. I trust the villain arc. I, yeah, the I, I did trust adorable. Phaeton. Yeah. So the NPCs I trust either betray me or they die. So <laughs> I need you to not trust the Lord then. I was gonna I say the, I don't trust the Lord though. <laughs> Good. I'll keep him alive. You can never trust them without memories. I love I don't know him who he was. memories. That's a mystery. Okay, <laughs> as far as that goes, if I was to cast a spell magic, could it get rid of the memory block, or is it too deep? It 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 fully depends on if it's something magical that is uh, okay. preventing him from having memory. Yeah. Can I regenerate? He just had a really brain? bad concussion once, and he's yeah. been shot since. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, how long do I have before I would need to take a long rest that I can use to make like healing potions with the herbalism kit? Um, I mean, you can take a long rest whenever you want. You're just going to wake up at a weird time. I'm trying to not wake up at a weird time. I see. Um, well, it'll probably be at least a few more hours. Um, like, maybe mid-afternoon you could go to sleep and just wake up at, like, dawn. Yeah, I'm going to go hang out in uh, Artemis' temple and make some healing potions away from everybody. They can follow me if they need to come find me, but I'm, yeah, sure. I'm getting out there. All right, so about uh, 15 minutes pass after Anora leaves. Um, those of you who have been in the room this entire time can do a full short rest. So you can heal up if you would like. Um, and Ilme and Adagio, you guys, uh, along with Amber and Keth, are granted entry into the uh, council chambers of Delphi. I wouldn't mind listening. Where's Qatar? <laughs> Eric's at this point is lying down. He just goes, "Please, someone else talk." Uh, and where's Anora? Anora's making, or Anora went to the Temple of Artemis. Qatar is dead. Uh, <laughs> face slumber, not to be trusted at the moment. What? At that point, so yeah, they're sense. liars. I look at Eric's. I don't, I'm not too sure about Scorch. Scorch is asleep. But, uh, yeah, it's, you missed a lot. <laughs> um, there's a, there's a high countess. I'm doing this really bad on purpose. Yeah. What is happening? There's a high countess. Uh, that, Qatar that's okay. had that's... funding. Can I it's... cast silence? <laughs> so, Qatar and sugar, sugar Mama. Okay. <laughs> Qatar mama. had a sugar mama that is me. being embroidered on something to be put somewhere in the background. <laughs> yep, it was just a whole point. Oh, the assassination attempt? Definitely them. All three of them? 
Well, not all. I almost died. In school and sports. I almost fucking died. Twice in that assassination attempt. What is wrong with you people? Why did you do this? I like what how the, the two reason? dealers what are the was ones the reason? actually <laughs> constantly dying. <laughs> Adaj and I are constantly almost dead. Literally. I don't feel well. Was there a reason but, or was this just for fun? Did you just want to, I don't know. The scale, obviously. But why? Because they, they wanted the scale. I mean, the, how did the scale was here. Okay, so from what I gather, Qatar may or may not have been tempted by an actual dragon. The black they went to the elemental swamp plane. Boom. I remember that part. Uh they went to the swamp. You know, plane it's just a big thing. They can I just absorb the black black Can I put my hand on his forehead and just absorb the memory? <laughs> No, but I will say over the next few minutes, with Ryujin's help and Alexios, you you do eventually get up to speed with what they've learned. Me and Ryujin are that. the worst people to tell a story. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. We love that. So, just are you guys just gonna sleep here? Are we all gonna sleep here? I kind of brought Kath and Amber with me. Are we all just heading back to the house? Like it's all good. Uh, I wanna uh, go home. I wanna sleep. What about you guys think door? the door the door will, will hold? hold? Me, Amber, and Kef can stay here because Kef can actually hold these things off and I can give him advantage and Amber can heal us if anything. So the three of us can stay with the guards if the rest of you go and actually like Is there any off. chance we can like mend the door temporarily? Just <laughs> it was I mean together men the first mending place. Yeah, mending is, is designed for small tears. That's what if thing. like this is not us. that <laughs> Did gotcha. mending in like different spots of the door, and we just like mended them together. Yeah, there's like five of us doing mend at the five same time. Five of us have on our hands on, like, different, like 12 feet a foot apart, and we're just like mending it upwards. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, you guys can all take your long rest at the house, and I'll just die, I guess. Yeah, you I, did this. You started this. I mean, I could stay here too, because I don't. I I don't need to. Oh yeah. Actually, okay. it'll not make that it. Hurt. It'll make it stay here and keep guard, and I'll, like, sleep. And if you need me before my long rest is up, you just wake me up. Uh, it'll make... You're pro... I think... That sword is, like, one of the only... Well, one of the basic types of acid damage that we have, or the sources of acid damage you we know, have. So I if you stayed it. up all night, we're fucked. I just remembered that... I can have Kai attack for me, and he causes um, 3d6 poison damage. Oh my gosh! Listen, I thought of that when I was designing the fight. It's not my fault you didn't think of it. (laughs) (laughs) I was sitting there the whole time, I was like, do I have any poison spells? Do I have any poison spells? I had like three different types of damage. I just kept dying. Yeah. All right, so we must protect the avatar. What was the white one? Uh, White is cold. Oh, cold. Blue is lightning. I ah. had ice. I had ice knife. I had flame blade. I have poison spray. I have primal savagery. I have all these things. I have like four different types covered. I just couldn't do shit. <laughs> I say we go in formation with shields, right? Right? Like uh, okay. Well, I got a whole like like only like plan. two of them could come to the door, right? Like that is that what I'm looking at here? It's like a two person. Yeah, it's a it's a, t- it's a ten open. foot wide tunnel that would open up. That is now closed. Okay, so I say we all just sleep, prep, and then when we open the door, we just attack them two at a time until hopefully that hallway is clear. You just damn. like keep me at the front, constantly casting different spells. Somebody take over One, when I run two. out. <laughs> um, okay, so just, the door just so like, I understand. Us. The blue left are lightning, the white are ice, green is acid, purple is poison. And That's if right. any red come, did the red door officially close? Is that sealed? Yeah, the red door is closed. Okay, bet. Yeah, yeah. at least there's a. I can't help you guys at all. (laughs) Is lightning because my one lightning spell needs a clear like sight to the sky. That's what we have, Kath. For would it be possible for me to just like summon my tentacle on the other side of the crack and just start swinging? Um, (laughs) I, I probably. I mean, look at the the language of the spell. Can I give the tentacle a sword to hold? No, I feel like no. that's metagaming. I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> if I can give the tentacle a sword to hold, I can cast a spell if I prepare it that lets me imbue it with a type of magic after I get no. hit by said magic. The, so wait, no. I have to hit it's not, a, it's not a creature. It can't, it can't hold a sword. 
Yeah, it's just Damn. a spectral. Uh... Can Kai hold a sword? See, I feel like, didn't we... That's a good idea. Uh, I, I could, could if on. he could hold me... it, but he's too weak to hold it. Yeah, because he, he, he has a six for strength. He's negative two. A little two. dart. Give him a dart. I have many Listen, daggers. Listen, he has, he has an attack. He can attack with his tail. He has a sting or a bite, Um, and the sting does... It's plus five to hit, five foot range. It's uh, a D4 plus three, and the target has to make a DC 11 constitution saving throw, and on a fail, they take 3D6 poison damage. That's also a Constitution Eleven saving throw. That's it's also fair. a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a skeleton. Skeleton doesn't have much for Constitution. You know, yeah. I don't know. They passed the one they needed to pass for me with ice knife. <laughs> then I died. Um. I actually do have a question. Um, yeah. So for one of the reactions for for Kai, it says deliver spell. If the imp's companion casts a spell uh, with a range of touch while the imp is within 100 feet of him, the imp can deliver the spell for him by touching the desired target. So that means I could just like basically transfer the spell like to Kai and he could. Yeah. So if you have a spell that has a range of touch, you can essentially use Kai to give that spell to the thing you need to touch. And that, that would be like. If it says touch specifically, yes. On D and D Beyond for the range, yeah. Damn, I don't have any. I have self. Sorry. <laughs> and 30, 60, 30, and ten feet. Yeah, no. Damn. Why would a spell with a range of touch even be? Uh, like cure wounds is a spell with touch. Oh, gotcha. I think yeah. snare is also touch. Gotcha. Yeah, stuff like that. Understandable. Yeah. So, are you guys, uh, you had now taken a short rest, um, Scorch is now awake, um, are, is everyone except for those few heading back to Sunbrown Manor, or what's the, what's the plan? I will, I will, um, uh, man, I don't know, actually, I'll go last, I'll wait till everyone else, <laughs> <laughs> see what y'all are doing. Then the other person is Alexios. And the play slumber, if they're going to stay with us. Yeah, I mean, Eric's and, uh, Scorch. and Scorch are, are there. I say I say they should they should go back home and, and rest. They, they lost a friend, and they've been through shit. Scorch can come with me. <laughs> Alexis is going back home. Okay, Ryujin. Um... Yeah, I suppose I will, but I'm gonna try and convince uh, Eric and Scorch to also get some rest, um, like not stay here overnight. You know, we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what happens. But they should they should go home and recoup. Okay. Or come back with us if everyone. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to do. Scorch I don't know what they want to do. Okay. <laughs> Eric uh, talks to Scorch for a bit and then goes, uh, if you'd have us, we would be happy to, uh, we could sleep at uh, the, the Five String Liar if you don't want us in your home. We understand that, but we will be back here first thing in the morning to get his body. I think I that we should all be together to communicate and plan that's just that's just that's just me um yeah, what, what does everyone number, else think i think the face number should go back to our manor i think the book <laughs> go i just hear lexus originally scorch can come and it's just it's the best thing i just have to say just hearing the scorch can come lexios is smitten eh? <laughs> nah i just don't it's trust same energy as anora after uh eric's for the first little bit now anora's just eh. <laughs> yeah yeah Okay, Elme. My only love yeah, is the exciting. sea. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I guess no. Well, yeah, that's like three of us saying Scorch should go, and two of us saying Eric's go. Elme, how do you Rock feel about percent. Eric's? I personally wouldn't want them in my home, but if I'm outvoted. I'm outvoted. You're not outvoted. You're you're the deciding point on Eric's. Out of character. Well, this is like for both. I wouldn't want. Either of them. 
of character though you can watch them if uh they're oh no home. that's what i'm doing well i mean i was going to follow them wherever they went out of character <laughs> anyway and probably <laughs> take some exha- exhaustion but i wasn't going to leave they weren't going to leave my fight same <laughs> wavelength we got this <laughs> uh, we could just keep the two of them in here with us and have them watch like if we all took a long rest together they could be like the guards who are watching in some shifts the later oh, shifts Origin, you are going back to the house. Oh, I thought they were. I thought we were debating whether or not they're coming with us. Yeah, and if they stay here, are you staying here too then? Oh, hell no. I'm just saying. Then, it'll be a little dragon what dog is happening? following them if they come to I, our house. We have circled the same words of yes or no three different times in three different ways. <laughs> okay, so there are, th- there are three <laughs> places people are going to be. Theoretically, there's staying here all night, there is Sunbrow Manor all night, and there is the Five String Liar all night. The Face Slumber have said that if, if, it's, if you guys are more comfortable with it, they would go to the, to the Five String Liar, but if you're offering, they could also stay with you at Sunbrow Manor or stay here. Listen, I respect everyone's decision. I'm just saying I think we should plan ahead. That's that's all I'm getting at. Um, but I'm I'm either way, whatever you guys want to do, I will go with. I won't argue. So this really has nothing to do with the conversation. Did someone just play a piano noise in the background? Because I heard the I heard opening that. like thing yeah, from same. Mama Mia. So <laughs> this is gonna be from well. Dancing Queen. So I just want to make sure I was going insane. <laughs> I don't so know what's the plan? Was. Okay. I mean, okay, so sounds like most of us would be okay with you coming back to the manor with us. So uh, I guess let's head back. Scorch sort of looks at you all and goes, why would we not be all together? And Eric just sort of puts an arm around her and goes, <laughs> we've... Uh, we got a lot to talk about tonight, Scorch. And they uh, go with the group that, that are leaving. So who's staying here overnight? Me, Amber, K, K guy. Kev. Kev. K E T H. Kev. This is the same <laughs> energy as Kev. Gavin and Laleo. <laughs> yes. I still can't say it. I still can't Lee say it. You just said it, and I've already Lee forgotten. Lee Leo. Okay, I'm sorry. Lee, Each of us Lee is Leo. on an NPC Lee we Leo. can't pronounce. And my Rock Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Amber, Kath, and we'll stay with the guards. <laughs> okay. So. We got an Amber arc now. I get to learn all her deep secrets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slumber party. <laughs> You guys are never leaving Delphi because everyone has their own arc that needs to happen in this city. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, we always open doors we shouldn't, so we can't really leave. That's true. That's okay. Uh, After this, what else can Delphi really have hiding underneath it? Don't say that. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I will always tempt. Why would I ever want to leave Never this? say this in Listen, front of the DM. There's still Don't a bunch of people in the Underdark we could meet. It's true. I, <laughs> and I, I will say, really, this is where everything has... This is what everything has been about because this is also what Aruxal was after as well, you know? And this is what Asundal was after before him. So it's it's always come down to this. His father before him, sorry. <laughs> <You're> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the group of you head back to Sunbrow Manor. The other group stays here for the night. Is there anything you guys would like to do with the rest of the day before you go to bed? Yes. So you said it was midday? Yeah, it's roughly midday. Roughly midday. Yeah. And we're not going to bed until later. Yeah, I will say uh, for the group that's staying at the, the council chambers, Odella does come back around mid afternoon uh, with two potions of greater healing. But I still want to sleep. I like how I'm making potions. I didn't know about these. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to take them. Yeah, the more, the merrier, honestly. Yeah, there's only two. Yeah. I'm gonna put them in my inventory. <laughs> if it, watch the audio, be the though. I can't do. <laughs> okay, I so don't have any spells, so I kind of need so... to like 
Adagio's staying in the back because he has the potions. Honora mm-hmm. is like back to middle, so you know you don't okay. die. You have to. Um, You're like our like is this? DPS. You know, <laughs> is it? What's it called? And then uh, like, potion I of greater healing. Okay. I've started breaking in greater, and it says blunt of greater healing, and I was confused. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then under it says potion. So I was like, what is happening here? What and sort I, of homebrew shit is that? that? <laughs> I'm going to send this to you. I'm good. <laughs> really homebrew. <laughs> that is hilarious. And I was like, let me check that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna, um, I want to stealthily uh, keep an eye on both uh, Scorch and uh, Eric's. Eric's, yep. Um, I don't want, I don't want them to leave my sight. If they sure. try to like uh, go into a room by themselves, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to sneak again, but mm, I don't oh, want to leave them alone. This I want to try and keep Scorch I'm busy. So um, so I couldn't find the potions of greater healing for some reason, so I just added the blunt of greater healing, which that was really funny. I decided to press on it. It's 12 HP group healing, pass on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> yeah, no, but Jesus. a potion of greater healing does do 4d4 plus 4 healing. I, Isaac, where oh, did you find no. this? I literally just... Like typed it in and it was I don't even have like it doesn't pop up like oh wait load more I'm weird there we go there they are I don't know <laughs> when I tell you it was literally the first thing that like popped up I was like blunt of greater healing I love this yes that's thank so you funny. yeah that's yeah, my I'll secret second sure. campaign can I make <laughs> that show? now that I know it's a thing can I make these like <laughs> like what All if right. I just imbued like plants. <laughs> So Ilme, go ahead and make a general perception check for your night of uh, trying to keep an eye on your guests. I just rolled an at one. <laughs> I'm so bad. Here's what I'll say, because some some of this stuff happens, and they're not trying to necessarily hide it. Um, you do see Eric's tell Scorch a lot of what he told you, and you get the sense, at least from Scorch's reactions, that she didn't know a lot of what was going on behind the curtain. Um, and she gets upset until eventually she gets to a point where she's just like, I don't want to hear anymore. I, I don't, I don't want any of your secrets or your backstabbing or whatever. I just want to make music. And she eventually goes off without Eric's into one of the rooms and just begins playing music, very much like uh, locking herself in a room and blasting the radio. You know, it's 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 one of those just like I just need to clear my mind and and, and play some music and not think about what the fuck you guys have been up to. Um, and Eric's lets her go, and he spends most of his afternoon just thinking and taking stuff in and sitting in silence, weighing his options and, and the choices that have gotten him here and, and what comes next for him. But they don't seem to be like planning anything per se, besides just going back tomorrow, getting Qatar so they can give him the burial he deserves. Can I come back to Sunbrow Manor to do the potions? Like, I'm going to stop by the temple just to hang out, but I'm going to come back to Sunbrow Manor? Yeah, absolutely. Not a problem. Uh, um, when I... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, when I get there, can I... I guess I'm going to see... They're all still, like, where I can see everybody who's there, right? Yeah. Uh, immediately, I am going to look at Eric's and be like, we need to fucking talk and point to the roof. All right. He stands up and follows you up to the roof. You're meeting. I told you things the party, my party doesn't know about me. And you still couldn't tell me the truth after your friend tried to kill us? After I told you uh, I'd tell you everything? You have to understand. I do like you. 
and I've told you things that I've only ever told one other person. But I've known Qatar for years. In terms of loyalty, I might like you, but I owe you nothing. I owe him everything. I was lost before he found me. I was just a man who thought that he once had something and now had nothing. He gave me purpose. He gave me fame and adventure. I owe him for that. I owed him for that. And I'm sorry that I hurt you. I truly am. And I don't expect your forgiveness. I don't even expect you to like me. I just need you to know that I'm sorry. And I already told some of your friends, but as soon as this is over, I'm getting out of your hair. You're only ever going to see me again if, if you need me. The fucking problem is you get it, so I can't hate you. You're the only one here who gets not having a god. You were the only person I've ever been able to talk to this about. I was dead serious if we made it through this. Telling you everything and talking about it. Because you're the only person I've ever met who gets it. Yeah, but you're full of shit too. You do have a god. You're not related to her, but... I mean, my gods, you... You have a stronger relationship with your god than I ever had with Aphrodite, even in the good years. You freely go to her temple to relax, to clear your mind. I can never step foot in a temple to Aphrodite. So I get it. I do. But don't think that you're like me. You're way, way better off than I am. You have a god. You're right. I do have a god. I have a god I almost turned my back on for trusting the wrong people. And my party doesn't even know fully about all of that. They all have complicated relationships with their gods, but at the end of the day, they know where they stand. You understand not knowing where you stand. And I have never had somebody who I could talk to that about. And I get loyalty, trust me, I do. But fuck, you should have known better than to throw that against somebody. You're right. I didn't expect to form an actual connection with you people. We travel all over the place, city to city, person to person. We party. We are everything that you would expect of the great Fae slumber. I thought this was just another job. A quick favor. I didn't expect to find you all. Heroes. Actual heroes. Not just people there for money or for fame or for daddy issues or for mommy issues. Actual, real life, swear to the gods, heroes. Saviors of a city. I mean, you're what the bards write songs about. And there were moments when I wanted to tell you. So I compromised. I couldn't tell you everything, but I could tell you my story. What I wanted. All of that was true. And none of that was part of the plan to tell you. But I felt I owed you something when I knew I couldn't give you everything. And I know that's still shitty. Clearly, I'm still shitty. 
but you're not. At the very least, you don't have to be. You and your friends, you guys are good. With a capital G, good. You guys are heroes. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just a singer. You guys are the real deal. The only way I ever made my mother proud was by looking pretty. You guys are making your gods proud every day by doing something worthwhile. So, at the end of the day, I envy you, all of you. And who knows, maybe I'll do some heroism of my own. Maybe that's what's next for me. I don't know. But if I can take anything from this, besides my friend's corpse, it'll be you. It'll be learning that I can be more than just a pretty face and a good voice. I could be a hero if I want to be. I guess we're more alike than you thought in the end. <laughs> I guess so. We make it through this. I won't tell you everything, but we can still go out for that drink. I like that. If you want to stay up here a while, away from everybody, I'm pretty sure that'd be your easiest way to get away from people. Just knowing my party, they're not going to want to let you out of our sight. Yeah, I think the, the kid's been watching me. That's I wouldn't right. be surprised. I, uh... I want to be as trustworthy as I can, so... I'm going to head back downstairs. I'm not going to try to avoid her looking at me. I'm just going to exist. Okay. And goes and gives you a quick kiss on the cheek before turning and going downstairs. I guess I'm going to, at this point, uh, sit down and start making the potions. All right. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. I need to go get a shot after that. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shit was too dark. So, uh, you would know um, with the herbalism kit that you can spend a day to make a basic healing potion. I didn't realize it took that long. Yeah. If you want a greater healing, it would take a week. Superior healing is three weeks, and supreme healing is four weeks. What the fuck? I didn't know this took that long. And they also take some gold as well. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, where in Delphi can I go buy potions? Because I have all that money I won. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot um, about it. You guys were asking about potions not very long ago. Um, but I'll say, go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, 19. 19. I'll say you could find one more greater potion of healing. How much is it? Uh, let me find out for you. Um. Uh. We'll just say for the uh, the Savior of the City discount, 100 gold. Uh, cool. Can I give... It, it's One platinum is 10 gold, right? That's right. Can I just give them 10... Pl no, I need to get rid of gold because that's what's making the weight that I'm carrying so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so I remove 100 gold. All right. You can take that away and add 
a potion of healing greater. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and just pass the fuck out because, you know, death. All right. So, anything else that anyone wants to do before you go to sleep tonight? Uh, Pat, I would have tried to, like, speak to Scorch if possible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, Sc Scorch at that point is in one of the unused rooms and you hear her playing some sort of uh, aggressive, almost tribal sounding music. Um, it's foreign to you. You've never heard music like it before. But listening at the door for a few minutes, it it sounds like it's probably some music from, from where she comes from. So I'm going to grab alcohol and I'm going to like lead into the door with alcohol, just the bottle into the door, see if she wants to talk. I think I she... saw the whole Eric's thing, right? Yeah, yeah. She stops playing and you just hear. What? Um, I think we might have common ground right now and I kind of owe you a weapon. Do you want to talk? As long as you do not have uh, destructive secrets you have been keeping that you wish to reveal. Uh, as of late, all our, both of our teams have been making decisions for us. Let's let's be us, right? No secrets. I can do no secrets. And she takes the bottle and So, a weapon, you say? Uh, yeah, I've, I've showed you mine. I mean, I I have ideas for yours, and I mean, I know, I don't know how you like to use weapons, and, you know, I'd like to make something for you. I have well, a forge. I... Here? Yeah. Well, I do quite like what you wield. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't had a chance to draw anything out for you specifically, but, uh, I want these to be yours. Not just a copy of mine. All right. Well, and she pulls out one of her beautiful hand axes and just sort of like lays it in front of you. You see this uh, gold lining that sort of swirls up the hilt. This is what I activate to glow during my performances. It is stunning and beautiful, but I have a feeling that you could make it even better. Something that when placed with fire creates something that you have never seen before. Are these ancestral? I could melt these down, rework them, or... No. But you may want to melt them down anyway. This gold in here is inlaid with some sort of uh, light incantation that allows it to glow with the fire without burning. Perfect. Perfect. Then I'm scribbling down stuff. Uh, do... What's the... Coolest thing you've killed. Hmm. You know of fire giants, yes? I'm familiar. Well, uh, some in their ranks are uh, even more powerful than the rest, are more heavily armored. They call them dreadnoughts. I have slayed one. 
How old are you? Time works differently on my plane. Uh, so, just among your people, your skills are considered extraordinary. But I was never much of a fighter. I am more than capable with my weapons, but I prefer to entertain and perform as opposed to kill and slay. So, something beautiful. Something that will turn every head in a stadium. I don't feel like you need help with that. And it's weird, like, she is made of fire, but you can almost feel the fire get, like, slightly pink before returning to its sort of orange-yellows. She goes, You are right. I am perfectly capable, but... Why settle for extraordinary when you can be show-stopping, yes? I agree. Have you ever worked metal before? I cannot say I have. Do you want to make whatever this is with me? Make a persuasion check. Not my strong suit. Natural 16. For a total of? Uh, Into the stats. And you said persuasion, right? Yeah. Oh, 21. 21. She looks at you. She has a sort of mischievous look in her eyes. She goes, Well, yes, Mr. Alexios. I would love to watch you work. Oh, no, you're going to be working, too. Of course. But you so, are the guide, yes? It's a little bit more than that. I look forward to a learning experience. That's if I can teach you. I'm a fast learner. The way you learn this time, it's going to be fast. After you, Alexios. Uh, I would just like to say his his very awkward flirting is me flirting in real life, and I feel a little called out now hearing it <laughs> in, like, in real time. <laughs> I just love the idea that Scorch is like, let's go. And he's like, yeah, it, it's going to be great. She's like, okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, we have stuff to do tomorrow. We can go mid. We can go in the afternoon. We'll talk with the team. Do you want to? Do you want to start now? We can wait. Well, uh, I will assume I need this for the morning. Can you complete a project like that in time? I am willing to stay up all night for you. Duh! And I. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up. I am going to share the craft, and I'm just gonna on the forehead. Her eyes go wide for a moment. She goes, "Oh, Alexios, we will certainly be staying up all night." Yeah, <laughs> I'm madly <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> So she, I'm she... very uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, now are you sure you're gonna be forging a weapon? I mean, <laughs> so she does go up with you to the forge. <laughs> so, I think that's a great place for us to take a break. Um, so we will come back for the last of the preparation before the morning. Uh, when we come back from our break, don't go anywhere. Just go take a pee break. We will be back in 10 to 15 minutes. So go, but don't go anywhere. See you soon. 
And we are back. <laughs> Got it ju just right in, Adagio. Um, <laughs> all right. Thank you, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for sticking around for the second half of tonight's session. Uh, so let's hop into this moment. Alexios, you and Scorch. Scorch, with a newfound knowledge of forging and smithing, I'm going to have you guys do a bit of a skill challenge here. Uh, so... First part of this is successfully melting down her hand axes so as not to damage any of that magical gold inside it. So, I would like you to make an intelligence-based smithing check with advantage because of Scorch helping you. So, roll plus intelligence. Plus intelligence plus proficiency. Oh, yeah. At advantage. Plus proficiency? Yeah. 22. 22. Okay, <laughs> so seeing how these hand axes were made, and it's beautiful craftsmanship here, uh, but you are able to find a way to just sort of unravel the magical gold and sort of take it away from the metal and wood and leather of the hand axes so you're just left with these sort of coils of gold that you can then melt down uh and it it does have a higher uh melting point than you would expect from gold but then you remember the whole point of it is that it can sort of absorb heat in in a way um but you do eventually get it hot so next comes the design of the piece so how are you are you essentially just using the recipe for your chakrams or are you doing something different i am doing something a little different well yeah. the metal i'm gonna try and make it damascus patterned okay and uh for like it's circular in the blades like where my blades would be i'm gonna try and make them flame shaped Okay, love that. So, because it's based on a design that you already know, but you are augmenting it and changing it in a way, it's going to be another intelligence proficiency advantage. Uh, but it's, the DC is lower than it would have been normally because it's based on a design that you are very familiar with. And I'm going to try and put the uh, goal, the coil goal on like both sides of like the outer rim sure. so like it shines on like you know the circular way got it that was still at advantage right that's right okay so and you said intelligence plus proficiency mm -hmm. so 23 23 so at this point, you really do start asking for Scorch's insight and her help. Uh, and she is more than happy to be that extra set of hands that you need to stabilize the metal and, and craft it in such a way that it does create that sort of flame motif. Uh, last part of this. Oh, yeah? So, I don't know if it matters, but despite you putting it there for me, I got both i did both the maths wrong they would be 25 and 26. great good thing it was already successful <laughs> okay <laughs> um great awesome so you're feeling really good about it and scorch is sort of like she is reacting to you being so happy with these results so far uh and you can feel the the radiant brand on your shoulder humming with the heat um Next is to actually perfectly craft the blade. So the actual smithing part. So now this is going to be a strength-based smithing check. So strength, proficiency, at advantage. As you take the gold and just your, your steel supply and form it into this new shape, hammering out the imperfections, making a perfectly fine blade. Mm. 
21. 21. Okay. So, again, you're still feeling in your groove. You have created these beautiful weapons. All they need now is some fine tuning work. Do you want to add any sort of uh, design elements or inlays or uh, little uh, visual motifs on it or anything like that? Uh, so... Orcish? Okay. I'm going to carve a uh, return into the handle. Not that it's uh, not for it to do anything. Okay, um, it's just cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do, yeah, like I said, the flame, the uh, sure. blade shaped like flame, the Damascus pattern, <clears throat> the gold inlay with the, uh, her goal. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so go ahead and make one last dexterity proficiency at advantage. <laughs> that's kind of... Twenty-eight. Jesus. Yes, you are super in your element, and you're not sure if it's because you have help or maybe because you're being observed, or because she's observing you in such a way, but you feel like you are fully in the zone. You make her, <clears throat> you take these beautiful hand axes as they were, and you completely rewrite them into these beautiful circular flame-shaped blades. As they cool, even before they're fully cool, when they would still burn you, Scorch picks them up and sends fire through her hands, and you see the gold begin to glow, and it looks as if the flames of the metal become actual flame. This illusion that you have put into the steel and into the gold creates what looks like pulsing rings of fire. And she holds them, she looks at them for a long time, swirls them around in her hand. Alexios, this is incredible. And she just drops them and tackles you. Uh. <laughs> so, you guys can all take a long rest. Alexios, I'll say, because your rolls were so high... You can manage to do everything you'd like to do that night and still get a full long rest in. All right. I was about to recover for how many times you recover, and everything that I'm recovering, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm uh, resetting the face lumber too, and oof, they use a lot of their abilities. <laughs> All right. So, you guys wake up, because you went to bed fairly early, besides really Alexios and Scorch, you all wake up basically at the crack of dawn. Anura, Alexios, if you'd like to prepare whatever spells you'd like to prepare today, now would be the time to do so. Uh, the group that was in the council chambers all night... You also got a long rest. It was not as restful as you would have hoped, just due to the near-constant bone-on-stone scratching sounds. Muffled, but always present. So, Sunbrown Manor Group. What if what I had cast like Silence oh, yeah? on? Or just for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, for just, just for a bit. Like, sure, sure. I had sure. it prepared before yeah. the long rest, but um, I reset all my spells. <laughs> I, think I, was... it, I think it is an area of effect, so I think it would probably work for a bit. <clears throat> let me see. I'm like, let me get my damn sleep. Yeah. We don't hear the doors bust down. And I'm just uh, like, oh. Yeah, it would, it would give you ten minutes of relief. Oh, beautiful. That's ten, <laughs> minutes, for, that's ten minutes for me to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. So... What? I think that we should try to make some type of plan 
for when we get there, when the action starts, how we're going to handle this. What elements... We have fire covered very well, right? Yes. So what should I focus on since I'm doing spells right now? Probably I'd say either acid oh, or poison. Yeah, because I, 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 have, I have lightning and ice. Um, I, also I'm, I ice. might need help with, with ice. Okay. But I um, also have ice I have if ice. I need to. Is it um, ice specific ice or is it just cold? Cold. Like, it, oh, okay, heard. Because I was I like, have... I have cold. Uh, sorry, because I have two cantrips that cover acid and poison. I it's can't okay, really cause... do anything for lightning. Mine needs and to be Kef where I can see. Yeah, I have, I have, I have, I can have lightning covered if uh, if we need. I yeah, have, and Kef, I have Kef has lightning, poison, well. and acid. So outside of that, real quick, uh, because I have nothing else I can do besides fire at that point. Um, what else do y'all suggest that I put on here? Because I have no fucking idea what to do. Healing or utility, I'd say. I have. Well, there is whatever's Do you have stuff? Do you have stuff that could uh, impede them? I don't know because, like, we know they're all they're gonna storm out of the. Do you um, have doors. ensnares? So if we could I keep have, them there. I have a few entangle. things I can do for that. I have entangle. Oh yeah, that's what uh, I, mean. I, I also have understand. earth bind, so I can bind a few of them. But that's a second level spell, and I only have three second level spell slots. If we could uh, bind a few of them at the front to to kind of block them from coming through, and then we just spray spells <laughs> into the crowd, because my lightning passes through everything within like a hundred feet. Well, not everything, but it'll pass through them. So I could I could do that a couple times, and then I have an ice or a cold you know cantrip to rely on for, for the ice, but okay. plus I still have that Pearl of Power that I can use to get back one other spell slot if I need to use lightning um, four times. I'd like to imagine two, three times. Yo, all of Pearl my of fucking, all of my Pearl fucking of spells are radiant base. Hold it up in the air. <laughs> what if... That's why I made this dungeon because you all <laughs> had radiant and fire. <laughs> <laughs> what if... Okay. Ooh, what what about Schmel May? Yeah, I got I got a D four of acid. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming in with that so to me? You can take I back mean, your tiara. Tiara of fire. <laughs> well, I, mean, I also don't think that we should all just though, rush though. in. I think that we should like plan out strategically where we're gonna be, how we're because I don't think we should let them all just like rush us. I feel like that'll be really bad. Since they're all contained in one space right now, I think we should figure out how okay. to keep them there but get the doors open. Sammy, what would so happen we can if we... just can all the spellcasters like just like ready a spell and then be like, yeah, I just want to let this <laughs> like a firing squad open the through. door. And then yeah. Like, boosh, boosh. I also have something I'd like to say real quick before I prepare it. I can cast <sighs> flaming spear, so I can literally just put that at the front, and anytime a skeleton that is one of the fire ones walks into it, they're immediately going to take fire damage. I think so the fire ones are got, gone, we right? Got rid of all the fire ones. Did we get rid of all the fire yes. ones? Yes. Are they yeah, keep, not there. But we don't know if they're going to keep coming back, do we? That's yeah, true. The, 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 you, do, you do know that as you were killing the fire ones, grates were, like, locking into place. Uh, and it seems like once you killed the last red one, uh, that it didn't seem like more were coming at that point, but you don't know if that was permanent over, though, or on a sort of timer. So, so I have, but we I have already really have fire. Question. We do already have fire, <laughs> so I won't do that. I have flaming sphere without having to prepare a spell. Um, is it dark in that room? Do y'all remember? There's no source of light room. in that room. Yeah, there was you were, you were, it was getting lit. I mean, in the room that skeletons were in, it was lit, but the room that they're in now is only lit by oh, the light okay. from behind you. So y'all cannot see at the moment is what I'm hearing. We can't see into this next room past the, uh, these double doors. Into the hallway that they're in is where we can't see. Okay. It's, it's like two turns, so the light doesn't, you know. Yeah, Sorry, so you will essentially, I mean, I, I will say once daylight, the door is open, the, the light is behind you, so you will be able to see the front skeletons. Yeah. Is the drift globe like a, a baseball? Can I like chuck it in there and cast light? Or can I cast you can, light? You can cast light and chuck it in there, yeah. So, what are the ones that we're worried about not being able to take care of? Is it cold right now that we're worried about? Uh, we well, have cold, cold and lightning should be fine. 
the ones that we should be worried about right now because there's more of them are poison Ooh, and acid. acid. That's the majority of the, um, the skeletons. Yeah, that are it's left. basically just Keth that can do poison and acid right now. I mean, I could if we I take out the other ones, I could have Kai like make attacks for me for the poison. Um, sure. But that'll also leave like you know it, it's that's if we we take care of all the other ones first because that'll be. Yeah, that's not like a priority for me. I've I got. I can take care of poison and acid. I have two cantrips that take care of that. Um, do we remember if they hit with the type of damage that kills them, or if it's just regular damage? Because I need to know that. Uh, I think it's just regular. Yeah. I don't know if we ever said what type of damage we were taking. You were taking piercing damage. Okay. Cool. Thank yes. you. They were stabbing us. Yeah. I was trying to decide whether to. Pokes. Prepare absorb elements, but there's no reason to take that thing. Quick question: For uncanny dodge, does that work for like um till my like I'm using it until my next turn, or is it just for one attack against me? It's one. I didn't attack. know if it's like okay because I didn't. It's, I was it's trying not to like the dodge like action. Shield. Okay. No, no, it's not. Like um, that. Okay. Does right. Scorch still have fairy fire prepared, or whoever did? Uh, have Eric, fire Eric, fire? yeah. Bards don't prepare spells; they just know certain spells, so they have the exact That's same all. spell list as they did yesterday. Cool. Okay, I'm not going to prepare. That's what I wanted to make sure before I prepared it. Yeah. Okay. Meaning Sorry, Eryx I'm... is almost entirely useless besides Fairy Fire. And Scorch okay. is also almost entirely useless because most of her stuff is fire-based. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, how do y'all feel about something that I can uh, throw you a berry and it gives you back one hit point? <laughs> hey, one one hit point sometimes means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's what knocked me down last time was one yeah. hit point. So. Um... Okay, sorry. I I, anything that's like utility based or support after we have the damage covered would be helpful. Because I've got, we've got damage covered at this point. I've got. And I, I will also remind you that because Scorch and Eryx are somewhat useless in this fight, they do both have Bardic Inspiration that they will be giving out freely. Okay. I've got, <laughs> I've got healing taken care of. I know we're there. I've got Entangle. Do you y'all want me to? I'm going to also prepare bark skin so that I can give somebody a better uh, AC. Um, I can. I, what do I have? What was the thing I used last time? Sanctuary. Or was sure. it? What was it? Uh, no, to. Oh, to shield of faith. Boost. Shield of faith with you. Yeah. Okay. We can. Who are we trying to boost? Who do we like? Keth, because Keth is very important right now. Should we just be boosting? <laughs> what is Keth's AC? What is? Keth, oh, Keth's AC is not great. Uh, it's 13. Okay, so maybe we should all just focus on protecting Keth and Ryujin, because those two have an AC of garbage. Listen, I'm just I'm immediately going to cast um, Armor of Agathis. Armor of Agathis, and then I'm going to Lightning Bolt. Probably use my Pearl Power and Lightning Bolt again, since you said that you can do some ice, and I'm one of the only people that is Lightning. Yeah, I was going to do... Um, oh. So I'll try and get them lined up. That's why I'm so, like, Persistent on if we can catch them in the hallway when they're in like lines, basically, that'll work out great. <laughs> um, then I'll cast. I don't cast... think they are though. Like, look like they're scattered around. I have entangle cast, and I can cast entangle. I have entangle prepared, so I can cast it right as where they're coming out of. But that's not guaranteed to stop them. Wait, wait. What kind of spells does Rx and freaking yeah? What kind of spells does Rx? Uh, Eric has Eric? mostly <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Eric I... has has. <laughs> Um, his spells are mostly not uh, combat spells. They're like charm spells and uh, uh, other things that he can use in social ways. Um, well, do you think that would work on these things? Like, what if we, he just like cast mass infatuation on like? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, who knows? Who knows? Uh, exactly. Okay. I was thinking um, more like command and stuff because I like using. Oh them. wait, yeah, I they're not in the command, halls like, anymore. Three. They're in the. Sorry, I thought that they were still in the halls. Okay. Yeah. Now. Wait. Now which, which door are we going to be coming through? Or are we coming uh, through that, that broken, broken hallway? That broken hallway underneath that that door is is where the big door is. Okay, and that's fifteen feet across or ten feet. Ten feet. So it'll it'll be in, it'll come out uh, two at a time. Basically. Um. Okay. So yeah, I'll focus on. Yeah, ice and lightning, but um, we'll need a poison and acid up front too. I've got poison and acid ready. I just don't want Fantastic. everyone to be like vulnerable getting hit and stuff. You know, like I, I wish we could have someone to like stop them. You know, like someone with a bat, like badass shield up there, just holding the line. You know. Do we have anything that we could do that with? Like, 
Um, I think Amber might have a shield. <clears throat> I don't want Amber to die. Uh, yeah, really Amber has a shield. That. Amber <laughs> Amber has got an eighteen armor class. Jesus fucking okay. And if we Paladins, like, baby. boost her, we boost her and we just have her stand the front line. <laughs> you say I still have enhanced ability prepared. Uh, a dodge. <laughs> nice. I would if I had a nice. Delphi. I also have enhanced ability. Uh, uh, do you have revivify prepared? Because I don't think both of us should have it prepared. Of course I have it prepared. Do you want to keep her prepared, or do you want me to keep her prepared? I don't think bringing back people to life is good. No, I'm just kidding. I, wanna, I don't know. I mean, why can't we both have it? Because that takes away a spell slot that I can use towards so either... But if extra... I die, that's on you. I was going to say, you're going to feel real dumb if Adagio goes down. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, but I... So, I, okay, important so... healers stay towards, like, the middle of the pack or the back, where you're away from damage. I have to be up front for one of my cantrips. Right. How how close? It's it is it, I cast it on myself and I'm in melee with the person. Primal savagery oh, means okay. I have to be in melee. Okay, all right. At that, hmm, ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> um, battle plans, y'all. Battle. Well, plans. the reason I'm asking because wait, what does I, primal savagery do? What kind I, of thing? When I it, uh, acid, acid. Okay, Sounds so right. we just have cat take care of acid, and then once he can't anymore, then we could have you do primal savagery. Okay, because it's two d ten of acid damage every time. Because it doesn't even look like we'd be in melee with anyone other than like the first couple rounds until. So like, Wait, well, yeah, savages. I don't trust that. What was that, DJ? For the most part, I'm gonna be useless besides poison in this fight. No, apparently if you I have see. a shill, I can um, I can hold the line with Amber and you know. Whoever needs to chuck spells can do that. I think that works too. I just have to be able to get through the line to Wait. hit with Primal Savagery whenever I need to. Jump um, in, jump out. Okay. What the is question... your AC, Alexius? If I have a shield, 19. Yeah. Yeah. I can also... Mine's just 18, so if I give you the shield, either one of me or you I could be front line. I have like 13. Okay. Real this quick. is long as we need okay. to plug a hole. Who can use medium armor? I can use light armor. I think I can. My AC I... is 13. Where do oh I go? Medium armor, armor that I don't want. But, um... I mean... Oof. Back to the Revivify thing before I do it. The reason I'm asking you is if I take away Revivify, I'm adding another healing spell. I can use And it's going to be a distance one as well. <laughs> so every healing spell that I have, except for Cure Wounds, will be distance then. I just need to know before I take it away and add in Healing Spirit. I swear, I just, I just need to know that real quick. Hmm. I say, I say keep Revivify for now, just in case if one of you goes down, we still have it. Okay, um, do, 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 so I won't do that. Uh, well, we also have those potions too. So Adagio has, has two potions of greater healing. I'm the only person and who I have does one that. as well. Well, I mean, he asked for them. Yeah, I asked for them. <laughs> that doesn't mean you know they came. Unless well, Adela's sitting right there to be like, God. yeah, he has them. <laughs> You're just gonna like keep it for yourself. <laughs> so we don't need yeah. fire. That gives Adagio me another gets, like, spell scratched spell. on the arm, she drinks a no, potion of greater, greater. restoration. Okay. <laughs> Uh, would y'all rather me have Earthbind or Snare? Oh, I can, I can um, give them to... What would be more effective What's to keep the them in, in place for longer? Both would work basically the same. Um, snare is a trap. They'd have to step into it, and they have to succeed on a deck saving throw, or they'd be, they're magically hoisted in the air. Earthbind, um, they have to succeed a strength saving throw, or... It is... Oh, wait, no. Earthbind only affects flying creatures. I thought it affected everything. Okay, so then we'd have to do with the... Snare, I right? see. Or it's... Why is Earthbind just its flying speed? What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, that just felt weird. So I'll put Snare. That gives them something that they can't get past. The other thing Would is... Would you be able to cast that, like, right as we get those... The doors open? Like, immediately? Would that be possible? Well, are we planning on them coming through the doors? Well, they'll start moving. They're, they're, they're going to come through the doors. Because they're still scratched on it right now. If like, we have 
I if we have the two snare. people in place with the shields, then you can stand behind them and cast snare. And then we can do all of our like disadvantage of like fairy fires and all that. And then based on our initiative roles, we start attacking. Because yeah. the thing with snare is they have to step into it. So that would be a Oh, so we'd have to cast it right outside the door. Yeah. Okay. Then the I feel like that would that work. would still be okay if we can hold on, let me let me uh, if we put the it. snare, then we can't have shield people like blocking the doors off. Like Amber would be off to the mm. side. Two lines of the side. And then how many people can snare hold up to? Uh it only holds one person. As soon as it uh triggers, ah. it's like a trap. It hoists them in the air. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh I mean, what if we I were can... to use create water and then frostbite to just freeze them in place? I have frostbite <laughs> the bear too. Where would you put where would you put the create water? I don't know. It needs to be a container, right? Um. um use your dread helm. I can't believe you're still wearing that, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> I still have it. Um, um, you create up to ten gallons of water. Well, I can actually create up to twenty gallons of water. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. of clean water, uh, within range of an open container. Yeah. Wait, wait. Um, I have a a side. Or question. the water falls as rain in a thirty foot cube within range. Oh. I have to roll for something. Is Forge empty on the inside? Oh, God. Um... If I wanted to shove potions in him, is, is he like a bag? Like, can I just like put things in Forge? Like, is he empty on the I inside? I mean, he has, he has some components in there, but he's not <clears throat> dense. Like, he does have like a cavity in him, yes. If I want to write like Ryujin, uh, Ryujin, <laughs> Alexios love letters and just throw them in there. And then, like, when I die, he's just like opens Forge up and sees like all these little like notes from Isaac that was like, I hate you. We should have been better. <laughs> also, real quick, that one cosmic time. omen is odd, so I can take away from their attacks for reactions. Oh, yeah. I just rolled it because I forgot it was a thing. Okay. Who has acid damage, by the way? I do. I do. Okay. I got a D4. Acid is that cast. enough to take care Wait, of? Wait, you have acid damage? Okay, so acid, poison, ice, yeah. lightning. My acid damage is uh, to go D12. Keth has a couple different acid options, I think. Um... Keth has, oh no, he has uh, Tasha's Caustic Brew, which is a uh, first level spell that does uh, acid, but he has up to third level spell slots, so he could upcast that as well. Also, y'all motherfuckers better roll good on these wisdom saves, because I can't add to your rolls this time. I only subtract Wait, wisdom saves for what? Whenever we kill them. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, what does this do? Forgot about Wait, that. Wait, isn't that what we have enhance abilities for? Yeah. Um, is that how enhanced ability works? Yeah, I say we should probably close off. Um, like, the let me two let me check. I think enhanced us, ability might just die. be ability checks. checks. Let me yeah. check. Are there any? Are there any plants in there? Oh, we're gonna die. Yeah, are there any plants? Checks. No, no plants. <laughs> just stone. Damn. I was gonna cast um, plant growth and watch them struggle to move. <laughs> what if you just do a cactus in there and just like plant growth? <laughs> it doesn't do that. It just makes all of the plants overgrown, so it would just make a very large cactus that doesn't help too much. It's just a large cactus. I want to see a large cactus. Obviously. I'll just misty step right into the middle of the crowd of skeletons and swing my trident around in a circle to knock them okay. back. That's what, we're gonna do. That's what we're going to do. You send, in, you send in Kai and open one of those other doors so like instant death kills them all or something. A, fire, a level 9 fireball just comes out. <laughs> I have one last do any damage. thing, and I don't know what I'm to use up. for it. Girl. Um, I know what I'm going to prepare, so I'm going to prepare Dust Sammy's Devil. Sammy's just having a grand old time. Let's this is great. Devil. I love this. I can't prepare... wait for you guys to open the doors and skeletons and be like, no, we're good. <laughs> no, I'm going to prepare Dust Devil, though, because if they mo I can move it past, like, in front of us. If they move into its range, it pushes them 10 foot back, so it keeps giving us, like, time. Alright. Do We're it. good. I have all 10 spells prepped. Wait, there, I could, I could, um, depending on the initiative, if I get high enough, I could probably just, like, try an Eldritch Blast. Uh, right as the doors open to knock them back to give us like a second. I don't know. Can we have that prepared? Like before we open the doors, we cast something. Eldritch blast, catch them by surprise. I don't know. They're pro it would probably wouldn't be surprised because they're already trying to get through the door, huh? I don't know. That's a good question. 
Oh man. Okay. It's so like we're about to open the door. What if I just them be like it, skeletal like, golems now? Like right the longer we waited, the stronger they got. <laughs> they got bone show, muscles though? now. We open yeah. it. It's like a bone fucking terrasque muscle. made out of skeletons. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> They Voltron themselves into something better. Jesus Christ. Oh <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Come on. I'm just the saying, if it's a are. terrasque, uh, <laughs> we're fall. Listen, I can cast a Vivify on myself. Damn it, Hades. Obviously. What are you Just as doing? I fall, I'm just gonna, uh... <laughs> Yeah, do it. Try it. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, God. I want to roll to my day. Vivify for Vivify myself, obviously. <laughs> I want... In my like final moments, I just asked my dad to send down like the Sun Champion to revivify me. Come on, Dad, please. Wouldn't it be so cool if like my older brother just came to save me in front of all my friends? <laughs> sure. So, let's say I get surrounded by skeletons. Can I Eldritch Blast myself to push myself ten feet? <laughs> yeah, you, do you, this you, you can. You take the damage, but you can. Yeah, and then I would just get surrounded again because <laughs> that'd be my turn. <laughs> uh, and now you'd be two D ten worse. <laughs> Yep. Can I just magically level up a few levels so I can cast a dragon and just start hovering above them? <laughs> no. Yeah, actually, I'm going to need to uh, control water uh, so I can control the water. I can oh, I can't control water can control yet. control the water I... in you and the Listen, I just want to say I'm like one level away from being a waterbender, so avatar stuff is canon now. Okay? I can also <laughs> waterbend in a level. I, so... I can already firebend. I can firebend wow. and waterbend. I guess I'm just nothing, but... yeah. We got a couple of avatars in here. It's fine. So we're still I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that you guys have been talking about this as you were making your way all back to the council chambers. So yes. You are now all gathered. Wait. All the hands of fate. Eric's scorch. Amber and Kef. All of. What you. can Eric's do? <laughs> I totally do forgot. Eric's. <laughs> Eric's can do basically nothing. He can he can fairy fire. And he oh, can inspire okay. you guys, but that's basically it. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> this is going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> and he do like one of those really cool like speeches where he's like, listen, today we're all the hands of fate, except for you and except for me. <laughs> yeah, but the rest also, of us are hands of fate. He can, he can, command, he can command once, um, once, and he can give people temporary hit points. But that's um, basically all he could do. Don't remind me. I can give y'all temporary hit points if need be. Okay. I can cast enhance ability and do that. I forgot it was a thing. But wait. before we open the doors. Oh yeah, so oh, can I. Oh, wait a before second. Before we second. open the doors, I'm taking a wild shape before we do that. Can we Why? see through the cracks? I'm gonna go. Uh, and take, uh, it's it's not that wide. No, it's it's a very thin crack. You can hear, but you can't see okay. anything through the crack. <laughs> can I summon Kai like flying on the other side to just poke him with his tail <laughs> and poison him? That's a good idea. That's a great idea, actually. Does Kai have dark vision? <laughs> um, I believe I so. I can change my spells and give him dark let vision. Me, let me double check. Uh, da, da, oh, da, da, I did prepare da, da. that so I can do that. I can, I can him. give him the drift globe. Shh, and... Yeah, he does. He has dark vision for 120 feet. Okay, so... Go Kai! Kai can absolutely bamf into existence above all of their heads. And, you, and Kai can see, and if you if you want to see through his eyes, you can see as well. This sea it'll be like a little of mini game. Undead. Yeah. Although here's here's the real challenge. You still get hit though, right? Dark vision only shows shades of gray. You can't see color in dark oh, vision. Oh, uh, So I Kai will have absolutely no idea which skeletons are damaged by poison. Someone cast light on Kai. <laughs> Gray. Does he? Can he? If it's shades of gray, each color has its own shade. Oh, but he'll true. have no idea which shade is right. Color <laughs> blind. Just give him. Like, just, just give him light. <laughs> what if we throw a couple like pearls or something, like like pieces of paper through the crack that have a light cast on them? You know, that's fine. We'll figure I it out. Give him a ball bearing of light on it. Why do what I if he holds it? He just high. holds the ball bearing. I'm smart enough to know that there's these different shades of gray and they need different I, colors. I mean, I can explain it or look through his eyes and, like, coach him, you know? Ryujin, are you smart enough to know that these different shades <laughs> Probably are not, gray. but we can try. I imagine Ryujin saying, like, stab the purple ones. And then stab Kai it. just hovering above all of them with a tail, like, purple purple just stabbing all the wrong colors. it's possible <laughs> listen it's a guessing game when they're all gray okay all right so it's kind of oh and dark okay never mind um here let me let me let me just let me just read this real fast uh, da, 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 da. 
So he's immune, or he's um, oh, Jesus. I can't talk. <laughs> Kai is immune to poison and cold damage. So even if he got hit by those, never mind, because they do they do piercing damage. Piercing. <laughs> That's right. Um. Uh... Hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I could try. I mean, if there's like any way we could get light in there to see the colors, then give him a ball bearing. What he? My question is, cause could he like? Could I snap him back into existence with a ball bearing? Or would that just fall out of his hand? I don't know. What if he puts it in his mouth? That's So that's what I'm thinking about right now, is if you pop Kai out of existence, does everything he's, he carries just fall to the ground? I'm tempted to say, shape? yes, that's what happens. Because it's not a wild shape. It's literally yeah. a creature yeah. that is popping out of existence. So I'm going to say... You can, if you can find a way to get light in there, great. But he can't there's, carry light with him and then pop out of existence and pop back into existence. There's That's a little bit I... of a crack, right? Yeah, how, a little bit how of a crack, wide yeah. is this crack? Like half inch, you, quarter you, of an you inch. You can't, you can't see through it. It is, it is a sliver, more okay. than like a, a an archway. It is. is there, it it is looks cosmetic. Is there a size? Oh, we need, we need some paper. Uh, <laughs> like if I cast, can I cast light on the door? <laughs> You you can only cast light on the door, on the side of the door that's My facing side. you. Yeah. Right. Mm. We need some paper. What if we we could very like slightly open the door though enough that we can throw a ball bearing in, but not open it all the way? Could we do that? I don't no, know if the key the thing in. works like that. You put the key in, and you immediately and take it, it just, out. Oh, yeah. And it just oh, I have to use a fucking open. wild shape to do that unless y'all want to climb again. Does somebody <laughs> have like mage hand? Wait oh, a second. Got it. I, you know, it's actually very funny because um, I I do have Mage Hand. Yeah, but we don't want you to waste your spells. You it's only a don't cantrip. have that many spells. Mage Hand is a cantrip. That doesn't cost anything? No. no. I can do okay. it whenever. <laughs> okay, there you go. He just forgot about it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, So I, what was what was the Mage Hand? What, what were we talking to about? To put the key in the... <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it it um I think it has a a strength. Well, I guess that wouldn't really need strength. What is it? Just we put have been back for almost forty five minutes, and we don't even know how to get a key in a door. <laughs> Holy shit! You're right. Okay. Um, should I use mage hand for the key then? Because that's that's okay. Wait, are, are we ready? Are we ready? Wait, we're not wait, ready. Wait, 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 wait. I'm picking up some paper on the way. <laughs> we're opening the door just to give Kai light. What or what I, is happening? I, I, I no. think we're opening. The, the I don't think the door way. works like that. I think once the key is in, it it opens oh. completely, shuts completely when you take the key out. I don't. I don't think we can. Man. Still... Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't no. think there's any way. Night. Let's rock it. But this once you scary. do the mage hand thing, I'm gonna smack you in the back of the head. Like I had to climb yesterday. But like I would. Yeah, that's fair. I totally that. forgot about that. It made you look like a badass, though, right? Let's, let's let's try the Kai thing. Pop him into existence. Make him guess for one of each color, like each shade of gray. When one dies, then he knows that shade that he's after. Mm. I, it's that not the like worst plan I've heard. It, yeah, but it gets rid of a bunch of the skeletons before we even open the door. Yeah, yeah but they can. As just long as I can get some paper too, before right? we go in and someone to cast light, we could slide the paper through the crack, the sliver, you know. And um, even if it sticks just partially out of the of the other side, it's some amount of light that Kai could use. I've got uh, you, know how the, light. you know how these skeletons have like been clawing at the door? They haven't been like breaking away at it. There's no like little broken hole like it just like peeped through. No, no, no. no. It's like, oh. it's they are they are bones, and this is like thick ass ancient stone. What yeah. if we yeah. just wait for them to break just through? A bunch of fucked up oh, meal thicker than a bowl no, of oatmeal. Oh Come back in 30 years when what? they broke through. Can't you just through. misty step into there? And then misty step out? <laughs> I can mi that would mm. um, that's, That seems a little sketch. So I, I don't think I could misty step in if I can't see where I'm going. Let me Ugh. 
I, you can teleport okay, 30 yeah, feet to an unoccupied space that you can see, and there's not an unoccupied space, and I can't see, so that would be a negative. I'm just saying, for the uh, paper thing, let's not. I'm just going to tear off a slight piece of like my shirt, and we can cast it on that and slide that through. We don't have to worry about getting paper or anything. I will sure say, Ryujin, just, just, just so you know, if you're looking through Kai's eyes, you could see in the room. You might want to see what's there. <laughs> yeah, true. Before we do anything, I should probably yeah. check it out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Let's, okay. let's, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. All right. We... Do, do we want to do the thing, though? What? Do the paper? Want, or the put, fabric? Put, put the light in in case there I, are skeletons that Kai can fight. Absolutely, yes. I don't yes. think it's going to work. Are none of us wearing jewelry? What if we just, like, tied a necklace around Kai and just, like, cast light on the necklace? But when did we agree that just away, disappeared? It disappears. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so a slipper, like, so I figured like paper, thin so piece of cloth or something. if I made a little outfit, every time he'd disappear, he would just leave clothes on the floor? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Naturally. Oh, that's sad. why I didn't have him teleport away when the with the Medusa, because he had the potion. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are we going to try the thing with the paper or the piece of cloth to see if it works? If yes. the is, end of the world is I just ripped off part of my shirt for nothing. Yeah, we cut All right. It? Do it. Let's 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 Try. do it. We got some amount of a plan. Let's go. Someone right. pass light. I can't do that. I so can't. Nora, you rip off a piece of your blouse. Adaja, you cast light on it. Yep. Let there be Anora, light. You attempt to shove this cloth into the crack. Go ahead and make a strength check for me. Ooh. As this is purely finger strength, trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Paper would have been easier, man. <laughs> you are. Me? Who oh, the, shit. Who has uh, the most strength? Why don't we just give it to them? Oh, yeah. That would be smart. Or enhance ability. Yourself. No, I'm not using Let's it. Let's not waste enhance ability. You're going to give it to someone. I mean, anyway. Scorch can do it. Scorch Scorch can enhance your ability. She's got. Okay. She's going to do nothing else shit. on the fight. Scorch, is Scorch a hand? Okay, I guess I'm trying this. I don't know. Yeah, Scorch is going to okay. say. Uh, can... Oh, oh ac actually... Scorch goes, oh, um, I'm, I'm not an entirely weak. I could give this a go. Yay. <laughs> she enhance her own ability real quick? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll cast enhance ability on herself. Okay, okay, cool. I don't need to roll that. And then I'm going to, yeah, I'll pop Kai into existence, at, like flying above the skeletons, hopefully out of reach. Sure, yeah. yeah, well, yeah let's wait and... until the thing goes through first and before we... Okay. Okay, well, he can so, look through Kai's eyes while we push it through. Yeah, yeah but yeah. we don't so have to have him in there any longer than he needs to be. <laughs> Scorch has a plus three to these rolls, and she's rolling at advantage, so we're going to see how this goes. And for the fun of it, because I'm the one rolling, I will tell you that the DC for this is fairly high, because it's a very, th a very thick piece of stone and a very, like, not rigid piece of cloth. So it's the paper would have worked better? Through. Uh, potentially. Who who knows? Um, so the DC <laughs> for this is a... Adela, get some paper! The DC for this is a 19. Okay? Oh, God! Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm rolling with advantage. So we we need a natural 16 or higher. Lower was a 13. Oh, God. Higher was a 15. Bang! Oh, no! Well, one of I, us is right. trying. Right? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna just try it. Odella, oh, where's the paper at, man? I wanna try after. <laughs> okay, right. go ahead and try. Straight this roll. is this is just a straight roll strength modifier. Okay. Uh, what is uh, zero? So I have to get a 19 or a 20. Who's That's the strongest right. person here? <laughs> Me. Uh, it's only a plus two. It was a 20. Oh my God! Anura's in chat. Anura's in chat. Everybody. Nice. Holy shit. Or it's just ended there like, I could have done that. Mission Impossible music starts playing as it's getting slid to the crack. That's yeah, awesome, sorry. especially because technically because it was the second attempt at the same thing, the DC would have gone up even more. But a natural 20 is a natural 20. So, Scorch is like, ah, fuck, I cannot. This is uh, not exactly as easy as I thought it, was, it would be. And Nori, you just take it, you're like, all right, here we fucking go. And it just like slides right in. Ryujin looking through That's Kai's eyes. Said. Suddenly the entire room. Oof, a corner of light that now emanates through the entire room. And suddenly you can see 
the one colored arm bone of every single skeleton in the room through Kai's eyes. He's going after the purple ones, man. Okay, Close so when bat purple. So fuck, fuck. the the range for that tail attack is five foot, right? Yes. Okay. So that me. means that if we didn't get we're not reusing. If Kai if, gets hit, if I'm Kai gonna... if Kai is close enough to strike them, they are close enough to strike him. What if he goes invisible and then like behind him, back of the neck, in and out real fast? He can certainly try, but with invisibility, he's gonna become visible as soon as he attacks. Uh, okay, okay. It's up to you. Yeah, let's do it. I can always, I can always respawn him. I guess. Do you have the the stuff? Is that how that uh, works? Does he get the? I same mean, I can, I can go buy it again. <laughs> My God. I have it on me. All right, so. Which skeleton are you attacking first? So any of the purple skeletons. Give me, give me oh. a number. Uh, the one, the closest purple skeleton. Wait. Yes, the closest purple skeleton. <laughs> which, which number though? Oh, um, I cannot read that. Hold on, let me zoom in real fast. Um, I'm gonna go after number. Uh, go after number two. Number two. All right. Yeah. So, because you do have the element of surprise against them, you can go ahead and make your attack first. Sick. I just got to find my d20. All right. And so that's a plus five to hit. And 18 plus five. So 23. Yes. Go ahead and just roll the poison damage. Okay. 3d6. Uh, two. Also, Three, Sammy, you can blame yourself for me getting a nat 20. It was your six, dice that you sent 12, me. 12, <laughs> 15 poison damage, and uh, yeah, 15. All right, so Ty, like, hovers like a helicopter and just whoosh, takes the stinger and, and stabs at the skeleton. You hear the skeleton go, oh, oh, oh. I need Kai to make a wisdom saving throw, please. I was prepared for this, okay. Uh, he does not have great wisdom, I'll be honest with you. It's plus one, but... It should have enhanced Kai's ability. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, it don't wouldn't help with a save. <gasps> what? Wait, oh, enhanced ability works checks. for checks, yeah. That's right. We got one of them. What was, this? What was it? Three. Plus so, one, four. <laughs> Kai oh, is... You, you hear Kai from on the other side of the door. You all hear, Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> can uh, i just like try and like back. like like get, uh, snap him back you snap him back he was, oh god killed that thing just, oh god it's okay it's all right head in his head it's okay you're fine it's just an effect from from killing one of the skeletons they make you feel really bad it's just it's like guilt you're, you're okay all right it's all okay you're gonna be fine you gotta do it again what what i don't wanna <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got one of them. <laughs> I feel like we're just traumatizing Kai now. It's, it's okay. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Um, I won't be. Um, I have like PTSD after this. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, this assignment I, uh, sucks. What do I? What? What order does it look like they're gonna be rushing? Through uh, in, do I from remember? the time you were looking at the skeletons through Kai's eyes, it looked like the ones closest to the door were mostly poisons, some cold. It looked like a, a lot of the lightnings were stuck in the back a bit. Um, okay. But you, you could basically see what is on the map right now. Okay, okay, so yeah, I'll just relay that to everyone else. It looks like the majority of what's going to be up first is uh, going to be poison and cold. So everything you said, I'll just <laughs> tell everyone. Can I go ahead then and be at the front, right behind the shields, just to start with, to cast poison spray if they're right up front? Go ahead and move yourselves. So uh, the the I door. I we could do that. Yeah, the door is basically <laughs> right here. This is where the door is. Um, so Amber is part of the um, Amber is part of the blockage uh, and is Adagio the other blockage. 
Adagio, uh, I thought that was Alexio, wasn't it? Now. Yeah, I thought it was me. It is right. Alexios. Move your ass out of the way. Right, about you, guys, you guys move yourselves. Fucking move. Or I will figure out a way to move you for you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why? No! <laughs> Um, oh my god. Okay, hold on. It was a bad idea I letting you all move your own pizzas. <laughs> we should only have access Wait. to our own. Isaac, oh, Isaac, the range for Frostbite is 60 feet. That's really cool. Arizona right now. <laughs> all right, Scorch and Eric's. Guys, stop. Ah! Scorch and Eric's are, are keeping behind. Uh, Kath is, is basically in the middle. Isn't Alexios the other person Alexios that's up with Amber with the shield? Yeah, I don't know well, why. He's moving himself back in. Stop I got tired it. of moving myself. Was going to be there. Was the whole thing. Oh my goodness. I thought I Alexios that. was going to be there. I never agreed to that. Alexios said if someone gives him a shield and no one gave him a shield, so it's he me. Has a yeah, shield. nobody gave me a shield. Oh, he doesn't have a shield. I thought you just had one. Okay. He said um, if someone gives me a shield. And he, no can one damage. he can't do damage. All he would be I, doing is blocking. The only damage I can do is cold, and it's from myself, from my range. It has to then be a circle can, around me. If the cold isn't close there. to me, then it doesn't matter. I can't do anything if I'm not front line. Adagio, do you have a shield? No. Yes, I have a shield. Okay, then yeah, Adagio yeah, yeah. will be ah. up, uh, up front instead. I mean, that works. Shit. All right, fucker falls. I'm giving Alexios his shield. I'm letting him sit there. <laughs> I'm not going to heal him. He'll just sit there stabilized. All right, so we'll put put a dash right there. You're know seeing. Oh, and... right there. I'm and just saying. Sorry. I am supposed to be. I am supposed to be in the move wherever. wherever. So I can move wherever. I have nothing to do. So here. should Alexios and Anora Alexios, switch places? Yes. Because I'm, I'm going to cast to... poison mm. spray right as I get in. Can I cast this one? And I can, I can, I can help with cold right away too because I have the, the cantrip. Same. Yeah. Well, the cold is what I'm doing right put... now. So you can, yeah, I guess you can start doing cold if you want right here too. Yeah. Because I, I, the whole reason I positioned myself there is because so I can shoot uh, in between you and Amberwood because that's a 60 foot range. I can only do one at a time though, but it's better, it's better than nothing. You say Amber was a 19 or an 18? Uh, she is an 18 with her shield. Okay, so me and Amber both have the same armor class, but I'm going to do it to oh, myself. Oh, it's 2d6. Uh, shield, what are you doing to yourself? Shield of Faith, so I can have a plus 2 on my AC. God, uh, give me one second to see what this does, make sure I did it correctly. Um, and it might be worth mentioning in, in this fight specifically, definitely keep aware of what requires concentration. Concentration, yeah, let me yeah. see. Yeah, so Shield of Faith um, needs concentration, so I'm just gonna put a little marker on you so that we remember that you're concentrating. And we should not, we should not probably try to buff or... the people okay. that are gonna be attacked right away. I'm gonna do it because Spirit Shout is also yeah. for well, Wisdom. Well, since we're right here, um, well, there's nothing we can do to buff Wisdom saves. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have a way to add this time. Uh, I'm gonna cast Resistance as a cantrip on Amber, so Adagio has his Shield of Faith thing, and then Amber gets Resistance, and before like before it ends, she can roll a D4 and add the number to her one of her saving throws. Wait, that works as adding to a saving throw? Holy shit! How many times? Ca oh, I can only cast it once because it's concentration. Never mind. Can if we... I'm concentrating on the spell for different people, can I cast it multiple times if it's still the same spell? Every time you cast it, the previous one drops. Okay, so instead of Amber, I'm going to cast that on Adagio because he is frontline. He can't exactly get scared of the skeletons because we'd be a little fucked. Okay, um... That's what I was scared Can about. Can we adding. prep what we're going to do before we open this door? Like, I want to cast Spirit Shroud because it's the damage when I attack. Okay, so basically, or... everyone, everyone, what what are you guys readying? Spirit Shroud. I'm going to ready uh, Frostbite. I'm readying Poison Spray. Okay. Uh, Eryx is readying uh, Fairy Fire. Scorch is, is readying a Bardic Inspiration. Um, Keth is readying a poison spray as well. Amber can really not do much. Um, so she's just going to be readying the dodge action to try to not get hit as much as possible. Can I go ahead and take a wild shape before we open the door? Yeah. What Since do you want to normally... do? 
Uh, I'm going to do you're... Chalice so I can do healing. Gotcha. So, oh Avatar State happens. You guys are all readying your actions. Door is still closed. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to Mage Hand. Who has the key, actually? Uh, you Ooh. or Alexios? Alexios has it. Okay. Uh, yeah, if Alexios got it. I'll just try and get it from him. And um, Mage Hand. Redemption. To open it. <laughs> Redemption's open. Great. You just wanted to look badass in the scene, huh? Yeah. I need a weapon. <laughs> I need a weapon. This is like... I, yeah, true, true. This is like <laughs> Luke in the last scene of Mandalorian, you know? Just like oh, the fog I and the door opens. and the it. I haven't yeah. watched it. Stop. Come on. See, you've heard of the scene, though. I've seen the I scene. Oh, my God. I have avoided all spoilers so I can wow. sit down this summer and binge it. Well, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> okay, well... um, It's like Vader in Rogue One. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, I'll mage hand, and God. is everyone before I like turn it? Is everyone ready? I am. Yes. I tell. I want. I, I'm bored. Beep beep. Blah, blah, blah. Just immediately, I'll see you. I'm just gonna go. I'll see you all on this other side, I guess. Am Amber just goes. Are we getting paid extra for this? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm maybe. Platinum out of my pocket and flip it back to her real quick. <laughs> she takes. She goes. Let's do this. Shield out. <laughs> I'll, what about I'll go Kef? ahead. Is no one paying Kef? I'm going to flip another platinum to Kef. <laughs> Kef's like, oh, sweet. Right. All right, let's do it. It has a spell book out. <laughs> and I'll uh, mage hand and... Everybody roll initiative. God. Wait, what about the spells we had prepared? It's going to go in order. Oh, that oh, sucks. Okay. I thought... So... No, 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 sorry. I mean, you guys will all get to go in the order of oh. initiative, and then the combat will start. Okay. Um, oh. I got a 17. 17 for region. Uh, anyone over 20? Oh, I got okay. 21. 21. What's your dexterity modifier? Plus 3, or 16. Okay, uh, go ahead and just roll a d20 for me. Six. <laughs> so get the bad rolls out of the way now. <laughs> no, so so you're tied for initiative with Eric's, but usually oh when you have a tie, you decide who goes first by who has the higher dex mod, but you have the same dex mod. So I was like, okay, roll a d20, whoever has the higher one will go first. And you guys both rolled sixes. <laughs> roll a d6. Roll a d6. There we yeah, go. Yeah, roll a d6. Roll a d6, Alexios. <sighs> okay, okay. Three. Okay, he's going first. Oh, God. I thought it was going to go again. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping that he both got threes. <laughs> That's this crazy. All right. Um, 15 and 20 besides years. Ryujin. Anyone 15 20? <clears throat> Yikes. 10 to 15. Wait, oh, crap. I was oh. 19. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and what's your dex mod? Oh, God. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I'm sure it's higher than Kets, which is zero. It's... So you're going to go before Yes. Kets. Okay, ten to fifteen. I 14. got a fourteen. <gasps> 14s. I probably, I probably yeah, beat you. Yeah, you're you're dex. definitely going first. I'll kill me. I have a dexterity of one, so you know what? Um, I have a plus four. So. Hard. All right, that's everyone. Oh, so, doesn't even. Yeah, no, it's, what is Elmay going to do? I'm doing nothing. So. Region to seventeen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's okay, so first is Eryx, which actually works out really well. Um, yeah, so yeah. Eric's gonna cast Fairy Fire. On a 20 foot square, he can see within 60 feet. So he's just gonna get this center square of, of 20 feet and hope to see how many he gets on the save. Let's see. There's gonna be a lot of rolling here. Um, okay, so first of all, he's concentrating. And they all need to make a dex save, which is a plus two for each of them. So, let's start with blue seven up here. God. Is a failure. Oh, I'm going to do pink. Blue nine is a success. 
uh, for that one, I'm going to immediately use Cosmic Omen to reduce his save. By how much? Uh, six. Wow, that definitely pushes him under. And now I just can't use it for a minute, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, green two. Failure. Green five. Failure. Nice. Blue four is a success. And I can't do anything now. Yeah. White seven. Failure. White five. Failure. Purple seven. Success. White nine. Uh, uh, failure. Just under. Blue three. Success. Purple six. Natural 20. Green three. Natural one. <laughs> Purple three. Natural three. Green nine. Uh, also fails. White one. Jesus Christ. Fails. <laughs> and whatever. Purple one. God. Better you than me, Sammy. Wow. That was a lot of, of good for you guys. Um, and then he will inspire you, Alexios, and say, uh, Scorch told me about last night. Nice job. Um, and Alexios, you get a D8 to add to a D20 roll in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Real quick in the middle of that, I just hear that I'm just going to turn around and go, wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alexios, it's your turn. The entire oh, party is now surprised. Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, Wait a minute! What happened last night, I Alexios? Really sure <laughs> Let me shut the doors real quick. Watch the minute. combat. This is more important. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything besides take the dodge action. Okay. I'm too far back. <laughs> All right. That brings us to Anura. Uh, Act Lime. Oh, that's right. I prepared poison spray. Yep. Who you spraying it at? Uh, that's a really good question because I can't zoom in enough to tell what's happening. You can't zoom in. <laughs> He's not letting me. Wait a minute. There we go. It's like I have to scroll. It's I'm like this one's gonna be really bad if you can't sc zoom in. <laughs> I just know. So like the way it was sitting, I can <gasps> that's see how the you zoom in. Room, but you scroll. Yeah, with the scroll. Right? Yeah, you scroll. Okay. I am surprised. Uh, that... I'm gonna go for five. Purple five. It's a con save. Make a... Yeah. That is a 17. Motherfucker. Natural 15 on that. God damn it. He takes nothing. Sorry. Anything else? No. Okay. Every uh, time brings... I do a spell that's all or nothing, you save against it every time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> Kath sees that and is going to cast Poison Spray on the same one. And that is only a 12, which fails. So that's 2d12 damage. Oh, but really shit damage. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, it's still up. That's how little damage. He rolled a 2, a two and a 1 on 2d12. This is why Damn. we don't do dungeon crawls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that is Ket's turn. Regen. So I'm going to cast um, Frostbite on the white one. White yeah. one. Yes. Oh, gotcha. I just had to find it. There's so many fucking skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's uh, a, con save? a DC 15 constitution save. That is a 13 and it fails. Okay. And so 2d6, it takes 10 points of cold damage, and if it still lives, it uh, has disadvantage on its next attack. Uh, it does not still live. Uh, you hear its scream into the darkness. Ryujin, make a wisdom saving throw, please. Natural 20, 24. All right, you're like, I'm fucking sick of these things. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh... And that I'm, I'm bring, not, I don't uh, think I can do anything, anything else, right? Wait, I can. I can bonus action summon the tentacle, which does right. cold damage. Which was in you... the other room still, apparently. Yes. <laughs> well, I just didn't take it so, off the map. I'm going to plop that right. Uh, I'm going to go for white five. 
and white seven, right between both of them. It just like appears right here. Yes. And that's going to make an attack. And... and they both have advantage. You have advantage on both these attacks, I mean. Oh, okay. Because they're uh, both fairy fired. So, uh, oh my god. Okay, well, the first one was 11. I rolled uh, really bad. And then I rolled no. a natural one. That so... misses. Mm. Mm. And the second one is 23. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage on number 5. 1d8, uh, 4 points of cold damage, and its four. movement is reduced by 10 feet. Damn. All right. You should not right. here doing Noted. the big moves. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is Ryujin's turn. That brings us to Scorch, who, uh, what did I say she's doing? Oh, she's just a uh, bardic inspiration. So she's going to inspire, um, she'll inspire Adagio. She'll say, uh, you've got this, I think, Radiant Man. Uh, so, Dajo, you can take a D8 to use in the next 10 minutes. Woohoo. All right. Um, Ilmay, you're up. Uh, dodge action. <laughs> I don't have anything hey. I can do. I mean, you, you can move Jump through your allies everywhere. if you'd like. Yeah, but what's the point? You can? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Alexios, fine, do you, do you uh... want to take your turn? Do you want to take your turn? Was the space in front of Adagio open? No, it wasn't. During it was. Turn, there was, was it? one space open in front of Adagio, but the second space was not. Okay, can I move into that space? Yeah, like right here. Like, yes. Rip. And uh, cast Tasha's Caustic Brew at uh, second level. Oh shit! All right, now we're He's getting a mad funky. All right, a uh, thirty-foot long line. Uh, so where are you where are you trying to are you trying to go to like green nine and seven, or three and six? Where where's the line gonna be? Yeah, I was wondering if like could I, or would it have to be like diagonal? It has to be I diagonal. I mean, like... assuming you want to hit the green ones, you could basically do this and hit those two green ones, or this and hit these two green ones. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go like this. Just... Alright, so nine, nine and seven have to make deck saves? Yes. Alrighty. Uh, wow. Um, the lower was a 17. Oh my god. Wow. I rolled a 15 and a 17, naturally. Uh, note, guys, we don't use attacks against Sammy that he needs to save against. <laughs> <laughs> I am in awe. That, yeah, these that skeletons hurts. are kicking ass. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Last sound, they were... T -P -K. T -P -K. I feel Horrible. like last time they were like playing Amber around... <laughs> Um, this platinum wasn't enough to like lay your line on the life. Failure. Your line on the life. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, word dyslexic. So that is Alexios's turn. Ilmay, yeah. you still sw just want to take the dodge action? Oh uh, no, I guess I'll go and attack number you don't nine. You have I to. Can... Uh, I mean, that's the only thing I, I can do. Yes. I, I have a D four of acid. <laughs> I'll might as well try, and then I can bonus action disengage and get back. That's what I'm doing. All right. Okay. Which one? Attack with advantage. Him? Number nine. Nine. Yeah. Hit him. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit. It was a natural sixteen. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Just roll the acid damage. I am. Let's see if I can get that four. A three. Three points. All right, Ooh. which is actually six. That's great. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. and then uh, bonus action, I'm going to disengage, and I think I can still get back. As long yeah, as with your speed, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, and I'm back. Awesome. All right, nice. that brings us to Adagio. Yay, Spirit Shout is what I had prepared. Yes. Oh, Spirit, Spirit Shout. Shout. 
So, um, let me just pull up this spell here. Uh, you are now concentrating. Uh, and what would you like these spirits to look like? Oh, I can pick that? Sure. What are my options? I don't know. Something that feels adagio. Phaeton. And <laughs> it's just a bunch of Phaetons. <laughs> and Le Leithis? Is that his name? Yeah, like the sure. Sun Champions and my father. Like all the yeah. different forms I see my father in. It's a bunch of like sun children. <laughs> all <laughs> right. So these sort of like necrotic sons of Apollo emerge around you. And they're like somewhat spectral, but they're, they're so clearly still there. And they just sort of surround you. Uh, what else are you doing? That's your bonus action. I'm going to slam my mace into... All right, well, I have redemption in my hand. I'm going to slam yeah. redemption into four. And the spell is going to be with cold damage. Is yeah, I, I assume yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead and, redemption. and make, make your attack. Summoned the, the sun baby from the Teletubbies instead. It is a 22 to hit. 22 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll, roll just the cold damage. Perfect. I'm wearing a Teletubby shirt. I rolled an eight. Nice. All right. All eight. Probably doesn't do much, but still. Hey, it, it does. Uh, oh. Actually, it does exactly what you would need. Um, oh. Yeah. So, with these, you strike out with redemption, and as the radiant blade hits it, these, like, ne necrotic spirits grab hold of the blade and for a moment the blade turns white and ice and you see the skeleton ice over and go Aah! and just like shatter into nothingness i need you to make a wisdom saving throw let's hope i, I and you can add d4 to that you also have inspiration as well oh yeah that's right uh d4 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 where you at where you at where you at there it is so I like the dice you gave me because they look like a sun, so I like rolling those. Um, hey. Oh, that's... Oh, do I want to... I have a 16. 16? I mean, it's up to you. I'm just going to take it. 16. 16? No, oh, I, no, I'm using inspiration. I'm using inspiration just because I don't want to be traumatized on the front line. Go <laughs> ahead and roll a, add a d8. At 16? I don't know if that's going to fail or not. I think a 16 would pass this. Well, I'm not taking the chance. And I rolled a one, so it's a 17. <laughs> 17. You're fine. Why's my battery dying? He would, he would have been fine at 16. Maybe. Um, I, I all was, right. I think it was like last time, I think it was like a 14 or something. Uh, some Something around there. Um, okay, next is Amber, who is just taking the dodge action. And that brings us to the top of the round, the end of the first surprise round. And... Because they rolled a natural 20 on their initiative, at 22, the skellies are up first. Son of a bitch. Why? I don't make the rules. Wait, I don't all make of the them? <laughs> yeah, they all, they're all the on the rules, same initiative. I just enforce them. All of them go? Oh, my God. They, they were on the same initiative last time, too. Listen, I'm I just really glad that. that the shields were decided. Uh, Alexios? Mm. Rip in peace, I'm Alexios. Just, all right. I'm just so. saying, um... Alexia, so you have a high AC, I'm right? just used to them going before me anyway because I had a really bad initiative last time, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> there are, so there's going to be I want to wink at Ember. Four attacks against Alexios oh and God. two attacks against Amber. I'm going to warding flare one of Amber's. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, so first the four, attacks, the four attacks. The four attacks against Alexios. Back. Here we go. One's I a natural him 20. Right behind him. One's a 22. <clears throat> One's a 19. Oh, I'm, I'm shielding for everything past that nat 20. Oh, yeah, like, like shield shield. Yeah. Great. Uh, so in which case, only the nat 20 is going to hit. Yeah. Uh, awesome. So, that's gonna be um, seven points of piercing damage to you, Alexios. And then two against Amber. One's gonna be a disadvantage. So I'll do that one first. Uh, lucky, because that made it miss. And then the second one is a, uh, a 21 to hit. So that is gonna hit. Which does 
7 points of piercing damage to Amber. Oh, actually, but that would have been a disadvantage also, because she's dodging. So let's see if there's a worse roll. Uh, that actually misses. So, hey, dodge action. Underrated, but dope as hell. Uh, okay, that is the Skelly's turn. The rest can't actually make attacks. So Eryx is up. Um, he's just keeping the fairy fire up, and he will uh, now inspire uh, Anura. He'll say, I know you don't forgive me, but hopefully this will help. And he will give you uh, a D8 inspiration die. And he will... Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. He will just take the dodge action. Uh, Alexios, you're up. <clears throat> uh, so wait, is green acid or poison? Green's acid. Okay. Uh, purple's poison. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try another Tasha's Caustic Brew in the same line, trying to hit nine and seven. Alrighty. Uh, remind me what kind of save that is? Uh, Dex. Dex save. One's a nat 20, one's cocked. A cocked again. Uh, that is a 12 on the second one. So one succeeds, one fails, I assume? Yes. With a 12? Okay, so go ahead and roll damage on the one that failed. We'll say that's number seven. Mm, so... Nine points of damage. That is enough. You hear it scream as the acid, like, dissolves its bones. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. I think it's really funny we're like basically repeating the Battle of Thermopylae right now, except the skeletons are the Persians and we're the Spartans. Oh my god. Go. Mm. And Alex, and Alex uh Ryujin is, is Spartan, so that's just like icing on top. Yeah. Uh, uh thirteen. Thirteen. Wanna add anything to it? You do have inspiration. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. I forgot. Yep. Go ahead and add a D8. What was that, a D8? Yeah. How long does inspiration last before it fades? Ten minutes. That was an eight. Yeah. Okay, so, so you feel the, the screams entering your mind, and for a moment you're like, oh, God, oh, God, and then you hear the voice of the face lumber, and you're like, no, fuck these skeletons. No effect. All right. Alexios, that's your turn? Um, I can't move back without getting... Uh, at, five uh, opportunity uh, attacks. Five? Yes. You know what? I'm going to stay right where I am <laughs> and hope for the best. All right, Anura, you're up. All right. So they're still up front. I'm going to cast Poison Spray again. At which one? Um, the f number five is injured, if that helps. Uh, but I don't want him to. I guess. Yeah, number five. Okay. Uh, thank God if you save again. <laughs> it's a natural four. Oh, thank God. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> I was gonna start. If you saved again, I was just gonna throw myself into the <laughs> middle of everything and start casting primal savagery. Like I'm done. <laughs> this poison shit. Uh, let me move that so I don't chip my dice. It's 2d12? Uh, should be at your level, yeah. Seven, 9 plus 7, does that kill him? Yes, definitely it does. That's a 16, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so finally this poison seems to take hold, and you feel the power as it screams and melts away. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh god, that's a good thing I have good wisdom. Uh, it's a 16. You want to add anything? Nope. You hear the screams in your mind, and you shove them away. You're way too pissed to deal with this right now. All right, that brings us to Kath. And Kath will get a little more fun here. Um... Actually, there's really no reason to. Uh, he's just going to use Poison Spray again at 
uh, let's say at number six in front of Alexios, because that's the one he can see really well. What is his um, range on Poison Spray Jesus? Um, Poison Spray is, uh, oh, it's only 10 feet. Thank you for reminding me. Um, <laughs> I was like, Why? Jesus. Uh, in that case, he will just use that other spell. He will use uh, Ray of Sickness, which is an attack roll. Which definitely hits with a, a dirty 20. So that is 2d8 poison damage. Ooh! With uh, 24 points, which is doubled from the 12, of poison damage. He just absolutely destroys that one. But he must make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, with a natural 17, he's fine. Uh, Alright, so Keth is having a good time. Um, alright, that brings us to Reagent. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately have my the tentacle make a uh, attack on uh, White 7. Okay, go ahead. You also, and... just so you know, you uh, the tentacle is also in range of White 5. Okay. okay. Uh, and this attack is at advantage because it is still fairy fired. Okay. Uh, natural 20 right off the bat, so... Oh, shit. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. And... I'm having a brain farm. Hold on. Uh, 1d8. Oh, but now it's it. 2d8. Oh, wait, why is it 2d8? Because you got a nat 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the first one... That's why eight. we get excited for Second nat 20s. Second one is 5. <laughs> so, you could have just doubled the 8. It's fine. All right. So even still, that is certainly enough to see this cold tide, like literally disassemble the skeleton and just disassemble into bones. Uh, it screams, but you're a wave, so you don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's your bonus action. Yep. And for my action, I'm going to cast Frostbite on number five. All right. That's a con save. Uh, yep, yeah, a 15. That is a 12. That's a failure. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 7 damage, and it its next damage is... Or its next attack is made at disadvantage. And it was already damaged, so you actually kill that one as well. Oh, nice. Uh, but with that screen, you do need to make a wisdom saving throw. Sounds good. 13? Want to add anything to it? What do I have to add? I don't know. Is that it? Um. Can I make a DC lower with Cosmic hmm. Heaven? No. Damn. That is well, I never got to use my inspiration from yesterday, which kind of sad. It but... is gone, yeah. So um, you, after killing two in a row, one with your wave and one with your actual magic, you're like, yeah, I'm feeling... Oh, God. Bad. <laughs> Maybe Kai was right. Maybe <laughs> maybe you guys are the bad guys. No, oh, no. You are now fucked up by, <laughs> by the I, skeleton. Just like, can I just summon Kai in front of me and just like give him a little pat on the head? Like, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I should have listened to you. Uh, so now all of your attacks are at disadvantage. Oh, fake. If the fae fight or is it still going, would that be just straight rolls then? It'd be straight rolls if, for anything that's fair. Okay. Fight, yeah. Uh, okay, all right, okay. that brings us to Scorch, who still only has, like, cool sword stuff and fire stuff. So she is going to... Um, she'll just... She'll healing word Alexios, since, since you're there. Um, and you're the only one that's actually been, like, injured that she cares about. Um... So that's I hear that? Be... She cares about you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, six points of healing to you, Alexios. Oh, and nice. uh, she will still take the dodge action. That brings us to Ilmay. All right. Same thing. Attack <laughs> with advantage. Which one are you attacking? Uh, Number nine. nine. Go ahead. Poison or acid nine. 
Okay, that was another natural 16. That definitely hits. So... Roll the acid damage. Oh, man, that was only one. Oh, no. <laughs> so after taking two hits, it is still up, unbelievably. <laughs> that is so horrible. Okay, and then bonus action, disengage, run back. Gotcha. Hey, at least you're doing a little bit of something. I, when, as I was preparing for this, I was like, wow, Ilmay has nothing to do in this fight. I should give her something that does some elemental damage. <laughs> yeah. All right, Adagio, you're up. Um, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Got to get the remaining of them, I guess. That can't really do anything. Okay, so Spirit away. Shroud fades. Is, it, is Fairy Fire concentration? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, then, uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Get some healing ready, boy. <laughs> what healing? There's no one. I guess I'll. In case. Do I have healing word or do I have fear words? I do have healing word. Healing word, Amber, since she's the only other person who has damage. Okay. And that is a six. Okay. So she heals back up to full for sure. Nice. All right. Uh, anything else, Adagio? No. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Amber is just going to step forward and create the block here now instead. Uh, oh, like and... I need to go. Oh, well, she doesn't know that. Sorry. Um, and she will also kill, right. still take the dodge action. Brings us to the top of the round. Back to the skellies. Move right into... Amber. She's just trying to, to be strategic here. She's just trying to oh, advance. Wow. All right. So it's going to be three against Alexios, three against Amber. First, the three against Alexios. Uh, two of them are single digits, so those are not going to work. But one is a 16. No. All right, so all of those three with the three against Amber. Um, oh, those are way higher, way more deadly. Um, all three of those hit, actually. Uh, were any of them nat 20s or anything? No, they, the, there was a, an 18, a 19, and a 15, naturally. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off of the 15 roll. Okay. The Cosmic Omen. What are you taking off? Takes four off of it. Okay, so that's uh, so that is gonna miss. So just two hit. Uh, uh, this has eleven points of damage to her. All right, uh, that's the Skelly's turn. That brings us to Eric's, and Eric's is going to uh use one of his inspirations for Mantle of Inspiration. And grant eight temporary hit points to five creatures who can all immediately use their reaction to move up to their speed without provoking opportunity attacks, if they so choose. Um, so those eight temporary hit points are going to go to Alexios, Amber, Adagio, Anura, and Reagent. Good eight. Yes, eight temporary hit points to all of you. And we can move now, or? Right now, if you want to use your reaction, you can move up to your speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Uh... If I want it. Oh, okay. If you okay. want it. Actually, if you want to. all right, all right. So let me just, let me just calculate back. something real fast. You know what I'm saying? All right, for sure. So I could move through the skeletons, or? You could. Maybe... It's considered a uh, difficult terrain. And you can't Without end provoking. in the same... Yeah, and you can't end in a spot that it is in. Okay, so realistically, oh, I, since forward? it's difficult terrain... Um, it's half speed. That'd be 10, and then from here, it would be 15. So, no, I wouldn't be able to do that. Sad. Uh, yeah, I'll, there's no need for me to. Yeah, I'll move right Wait, no, here. I lied. I'm going to move. You said it's difficult terrain through the skeletons? Yeah, so every I... square is ten feet instead of five feet, basically. Except so it start that would start here. So ten this would be there would be can I be can I make it there basically? 
15, 20, 25, 30. You would end, you would end in the green two spot. Fuck. Ah. Yeah. I was trying to get on the back side of everything. Sorry. Almost. Yeah, I had that same thought. Because I can get back can there where there's it. three fucking acid ones. Sorry. Uh, Alexios, yeah, you're up. Uh, um, let's remove. I am going to take it well no i'm gonna stay right here and use the dodge action all right uh anura you're up uh can i like if i move forward can i stand between where ryujin and adagio are if i'm just you know like moving to take an attack and then move back um yes I don't, okay yes, i can't can. tell if either of these skeletons would be within 10 feet otherwise no, so yeah, so basically you can you can sort of squeeze into Ryujin's space, cast a spell, and, and retreat back to your space. If I squeeze into his space and I kill the skeleton, can I move into the skeleton's vacated space? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to try and do then. So it's at right. uh, purple one. Purple one, and what are you casting? Uh, Poison spray. All right. That is a natural five, so that's a failure. Uh, where's my E12? That's seven plus six. That's 13 points of poison. Yeah, demolishes it. Go ahead and make a wisdom save for me. Uh, 11 plus seven. That's an 18. 18. 18, that succeeds. So once again, you're like, I just want to kill these things. Uh, all right. And then I'm moving into the space. Sure. So that's that's basically 10 feet of movement. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm good then. All right. That brings us to uh, Kath. We'll just take a step forward and uh, we'll do Ray of Sickness again. Uh, so he's going to actually counter over here and try to hit f number f uh, purple four over there. Uh, it definitely does. So, that is 2d8. Yeah, destroys it immediately. So he needs to make a wisdom save. Ooh. But Keth fails the save, so Keth is now reconsidering everything that he's doing. Uh, okay, that brings us to Ryujin, who is also reconsidering everything he's doing. What are you doing, buddy? Are you muted, Ryujin? Sorry, yeah, I was muted. Um, so I'm going to move my tentacle to right there in the space of, sure. of three. Yep. And then it's going to make an attack on number nine. Sure. Uh, also... I haven't been adding the seven to attack. I add the seven, right? Yeah, it's your spell attack. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been doing that. All right. And this uh, is still at advantage because it's fairy fired. Okay. Uh, 24. 24 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. And that's two. No, that's 1d8. I almost did two. And... No, that's a d10. That's a d8. Eight. And eight is going to do it. <sighs> Destroyed immediately. That's your bonus action. Action. For my action, I am going to... I'm going to cast Frostbite on number eight. Uh, is that possible? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I had to find him. <laughs> okay. uh, what's the range on Frostbite? <clears throat> 60 feet. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, but that's a natural 18 on the save. Shit. Sorry. Okay. Um, on a... F so nothing happens, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, you tell me. Damage. Uh, da -da. No, it doesn't say it takes half. So, yeah, it takes nothing. Um, Alright. Sorry. That, that's my turn. 
All right. Um, that brings us to Scorch. And uh, Scorch will just hop in over here and uh, just cast Blade Ward on herself just in case. And will inspire... Um, who up, up front has used their inspiration already? Adagio. Adagio, Adagio she's going to inspire you again. You do you. <laughs> Ilmay, you're up. Scorch. Okay. Repeat. <laughs> I'm going to go up here. Attack the number nine and retreat. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm glad I had advantage. This one was a natural one. So 16, natural 16 again. Yeah, that hits. That go ahead and roll hit. damage. Four! I got a four, finally! That's gonna do it. Hey! God! Go ahead and roll a wisdom save for me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Natural way. So, shout out to the two crew. Oh no. So that's a six. So, so Ilmay, you finally kill this thing, and as you're disengaging and running back, you're like, oh god, it had a family at one point. Before it was a skeleton, it, like, was a person. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. A bonus action, disengage, run back. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, Adagio, you're up. Wash was repeat. I'm gonna... Hug Nora and make a swipe at six. Oh, gotcha. Go ahead. I'll also, uh, Ryujin, make a, a, a wisdom save for me. Oh, damn. Okay. Just, just to see one? if you break through. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit 24. 15. 15, you do break through. And 24 <laughs> hits, so go ahead and roll damage, Adagio. Uh, seven points of cold. Seven points of cold damage to number I'm gonna six. I'm going to add the inspiration just because. Sure. I'm at the Oh, no. Uh, you can't add to damage. You have to uh, add to uh, an attack roll. A roll. You're right. You're right. But it's all right because that's all you needed anyway. Yes. And now you Go have it make for a, the wisdom. Make a wisdom saving oh, throw. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yay. I rolled an 11. Um, What is my saving? It's a plus six. So I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> You are fine. All right, that's great. <laughs> um, that brings us to Amber. I don't concentrate anymore. Amber's going to stay exactly where she is, because if she moves forward in either direction, she now creates a window for people to get past her. So she's going to stay where she is and just take the dodge action. So Smart woman. That brings us to this. Hey, that's what you pay her for. Brings us to the Skellies. Let's see what goes down in Skellyland. Oh My no. Platinum was spent well. <laughs> it's all coming together. We'll say this fight's going way better than the other one did, y'all. <laughs> oh god. I haven't I haven't taken any damage yet. <laughs> you say that now, now you're on the front well, I mean, line. Now I'm on the front We're line. Still alive. Alive. That's what matters. Yeah. I have eight temp hit points. I actually prepared a good many healing spells. So it's actually gonna be two against Amber, two against Adagio, two against Anura. I'm going to ward it. Uh, is the tentacle one. within um, uh, 10 feet of Adagio? Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's going to Guardian Coil if he still takes damage. Sure. From the uh, I will say it's it's also 10 feet to Anura, just just so you oh, know. Oh, sick. Okay. Then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first two strikes against Anura. One's going to miss with a 2, but one's definitely going to hit with a 23. Yeah, that hits. That's going to be... I don't think Guardian Coil will help me in there, bud. <laughs> it's going to be uh, 8 points of piercing. Oh, cool. Guardian I'm... Coil. So you're reducing five. the damage? Yeah, by 5. So 3 points of damage to you, Anora. Would have just taken my chip hit points. It didn't even go. It wouldn't have gone into my regular hit points anyway. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. So Adagio, you're uh, warding flaring the first one. Yes. All right. First one is a natural one. Nice. Nice. Second one, which is a straight roll, is a natural three. Fuck you. Nice. 
Uh, uh, and, then, <laughs> and then two against Amber. One's a natural one again. What's happening to me? And one's a 14, which also misses. Okay. Ooh. Skelly guys, shit round. Let's, guys, let's not piss Jamie off. He can kill all our characters. Battle of Thermopylae right here, man. With the Spartans. <laughs> right. so okay, we might okay. die in the end. It's fine. Eric's is gonna go. Um, is Kai still suffering? Good question. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, go ahead and make a wisdom save for Kai. All right. Kai has a plus one wisdom. That's surprising. You know, we're going to use the big die for this. Uh, six. Yeah. Kai's still like, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> this whole time, he's just been muttering, holding his head. He's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. So, Eryx is going to inspire you, Anora. Oh, have you used your inspiration? Inspired. I still have it. I haven't had a reason <clears throat> yet. I okay. haven't made any attack rolls, and I, I have, have plus seven to wisdom saves. All right, he's gonna inspire you, Alexios. Uh, so you can get a, a get a D eight, uh, and he's gonna take the the dodge Is action. Uh, Alexios and huh? Alexios inspired by scorch right now. Oh, he used it, didn't he? He used it. And then scorch inspired, inspired me. Oh, scorch inspired me the uh, the other yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. When you ask yeah. Off, gotta, yeah. I use it. All right, Alexios, you're up. Uh, I is there any way I can like switch places with Cat? Can I like grab him and shove him? Uh, like... you can. It'll it'll take uh basically double the movement that it normally would. So instead of five to get to the his spot, it'd take ten to get to his spot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do that. All right. As I do, I'm he is gonna... he's a twig. I mean, he's a Goliath, but he's a twig. So yeah, you can move him easily. All okay. those things go together. <laughs> That's why I made him that way. I was like, what if there was a, a Goliath that was super skinny and wanted to be a wizard instead? <laughs> Fair. I'm gonna point through three and nine and say poison, right? That's purple is poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just that way, poison. Uh, what are you casting? Oh, no, I'm going to tell him, like... They, they oh, 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 I see, I see. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, do I you want to like do anything? I'm going to magically... Uh, point. Dodge action. Dodge action. Got it. <laughs> All the way in the Anura. back of dodge action. Anura, you're up. Um, I'm going to... Cast Primal Savagery. <laughs> Even uh, in Avatar right State, in suddenly your teeth get long and your fingernails get long. And suddenly, this is not just like Avatar State. It's like Baba Yaga Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Okay. Beware the Baba Yaga. Oh, god. It's such a good thing that I have inspiration for this. Oh, where is it? D a D8 for inspiration, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to use these because they're easier to get out. Um, because that was originally an eight. Wait, an eight plus an eight is sixteen. Does that a sixteen is correct. hit? Sixteen does hit. Yes. Oh, then I don't need to use inspiration. Never mind. Okay. Uh, which uh, one are that's... you hitting, by the way? The one right in front of me. Three. Is it oh, gotcha, green boy? Gotcha. Yeah. Go ahead okay. and, and roll the acid damage. Those are d10s. God damn it! I just closed the dice. Also, did you roll that with advantage? Did I have advantage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then it's very wait funny. a minute. Just make sure you don't get a nat 20. <laughs> Do you get a nat 20? You want me to just lie about my roll and say it was a 19 instead? No. If you got a nat 20, roll roll double damage. <laughs> you should, I, I need to start rolling the dice you sent me. I'll roll the other one from now on. Because <laughs> uh, it Kill rolls two for two weeks, and now it's rolling great, so I don't know what's happening. Uh, D10s, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know. What is math? 3, 11, uh, 14, and add 24 points of acid damage. Yeah. You destroy him. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. And here's where shit's gonna go sideways, I betcha. That was an at one, but I get plus seven to that, so I'm at an eight, and then I have... A one the... is a one. 
Wait, I can't add. A one is a one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if it I were a two, a one is a one. Oh my god. That you, sucks. <laughs> you feel so mentally prepared. And suddenly you're like, wait, what? What the fuck are we doing? Uh, you are cursed. Is a one. I was like, is that a seven is or a one? Is this a curse? <laughs> yeah, it's a curse. Wait. Is that I a could seven just go or around a one? removing curses. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, if you want That's to spend your spell slots I can't fucking that. read. It's a seven? I can't fucking. Yeah, because I had the di dice was turned sideways, so it looked like a one. <laughs> okay, so what's okay. the total? It, it looks like a one when it's turned sideways. I know you can't I see believe that. you. Yeah. Hey, sevens and ones look very similar. I they really do. It seven. was turned like sideways, so like the point was towards me, so it looked like a one. They're right next to each other, too, which is really funny. So, 7 plus 7 is a 14. Do I need to add anything to that? You tell me. I'm going to add something to it in case. I'm going to add 4 to it. All right. It's 18. You are okay. You are okay. not taken yeah. by the curse. I apparently uh. just can't <laughs> read. Yes. Um, all right. That brings us to Kathy Boy, who Boys will baby. cast Ray of Sickness... How many spells uh, does he get as a wizard? He, he all he has is spells. He's got. Uh, I'm uh, a, I miss slots. He's got four first levels, three second levels, and two third levels. I oh have my. more spell slots than Kev does. By like one. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's also a lower <laughs> level than you. He's level five. Oh. Okay. Aren't um, we? Uh oh. I haven't used any leveled spells this whole time. Oh. All right. Um, Kev's gonna do Save ray of sickness on. Uh, ooh, actually on number nine, because he's a melee with number three. Uh, doesn't want disadvantage. Or actually, he'd just be a straight roll anyway. So yeah, he's gonna do number three. Straight roll. Uh, As reason? Wait, As he would still be at disadvantage, because he's, uh, caught by the curse still, right? Oh, thank you. I have not cast a spell yet, no. Is nice. he, I think he's still gonna hit. Yes, he's still going to hit with a 14, okay. um, even with disadvantage. So that Good is shit, 2d8. Oh, double sevens. You know that's going to kill that fucker. Amazing. Is he double cursed? Yeah, is that uh, a thing? Can't be, can't be double cursed, but it does mean that he doesn't <laughs> get he doesn't get to try to save from the curse this time. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, all right, that brings us to Reagen. All right, so with the tentacle, I'm going to make an attack on number eight. Um, All right, go ahead. Uh, so, deep That's bad. So, that's a three plus seven. So, ten. Ten does not hit, unfortunately. Okay, that is fine. I'm going to squeeze up in the space that Adagio is in, and I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt in a line going right here. Ooh, okay. What's the save on that? Uh, that is gonna be my eyes will work a dexterity of 15. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're doing number three first. Natural two. Number seven. Natural twenty. Fuck. <laughs> number eight. I can't. Well, he's at disadvantage though, right? With the faith uh, fire. He's not on disadvantage on That's saves. So no. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true. You're right. You're right. Uh, and then a. Like... Uh, a nine, so two take the full damage. Right. For the nat twenty, if I subtracted from that, would it still just count because it was a nat twenty? I just want you to hear this. Okay. Lightning bolt is eight d six. That oh means God. half of it. Still right. seven, so it's true. All right, uh, so that's twelve right off the bat. Do I need to count the rest? <laughs> yes, just because of the half damage um, that seven's gonna take. Okay, so twelve. Uh, that's 16, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 damage. I think it's dead. The, the lightning they one's are. actually stronger than the rest. They are. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> okay, nah, Reagen. Like... Make just, just a wisdom die. saving throw, Reagen. He's got to make okay. like three. Three at all. No, it's just, it's just way higher 15. than DC. Uh, you want to add anything to it? I don't have inspiration or anything, babe. All right, you, you are once again cursed. Okay. 
Jesus I'll take life. it. Okay, that brings uh, us to... Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Gorch, who still is useless, but she just saw what you did, Mugen, and said, ah, that is incredible, and will give you a D8 inspiration. Shook. We're going to okay. tell Eric's about the time that we murder hoboed so we're not good with the capital G <laughs> using <laughs> that exact spell. Shut up. We're not talking about that right now. And then she will cast... I'm always murder hobo. You are? Let's be oh. real. <laughs> uh, she will look to you, Ilme, and say, do you want a better shot at the acid ones? Uh, yeah. Okay, she will grab your hand and cast Dimension Door. Oh my god. <laughs> Both of you end up right there. Oh my god. Nice. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, Ilme, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I shall run up. Okay. And I'm hitting uh, the green two because I'm at disadvantage and that one's at advantage. advantage. So just a straight roll. So, uh, my plus an 18. That definitely hits. Okay. Let's see if I can get another four. Forgot about that. I did get another four. All right. So eight points of damage against green two. And. Bonus Still action! Up. Disengage. Yep. Run back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Adagio. Um, I'm gonna step on Amber's toes here and throw <laughs> a dagger at eight. Uh, all right, go ahead. What do I have to add to daggers? Uh, 17. Uh, 17 only hits. This? Go ahead and roll damage. It, it's just whatever weapon I'm using, um, the Spirit Shroud. I thought that dropped. No, I still, I still have it up. Yeah, he, he still has it up. Yeah, any attack you make deals 1d8 extra damage. As long as I have within 10 feet, which is why I moved on to Amber. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, go uh, ahead and... Five. and uh, yeah, five. five, so he is still up. I'm just gonna hop oh, back barely. into my space. <laughs> All right. All right. Wait, can I... No, I don't want those opportunity attacks. It's fine. I'm just going to go back here. <laughs> All right. That brings us to Amber, who is staying exactly where she is. Good for uh, her. Is anyone looking like they need healing at all? No. No. Amazing. No. Why couldn't um, this happen last time? <laughs> because we had formation Everyone's doing this great. Time. Hey, you guys knew what you were going into. You're planning. It looks... Everything's great, guys. Can you, um, like, uh, I don't like that can, you said can that. Can Amber like hold a healing for after the scaling's attack? Okay, does that work like that? She can, but instead, what she's gonna do? She's gonna cast Sanctuary on uh, a Dagio. What does that so, do? So, so what is, what that does is, um, until the spell ends, which is a minute. My cats are freaking out. Uh, until the spell ends. Any creature who targets you with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom save. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack. Heard. All right. Uh, and then just taking the dodge action because that's a bonus action. All right. It is now the Skelly's turn. Some of them have found new blood. Oh, no. Oh, don't let them all go that way. Motherfucker. <laughs> Of course they're going to. It's okay. Yeah, but I can't attack the cold one in front of me. That's not lightning. <laughs> That's lightning. The blue one? Blue one's yeah, a lightning. lightning. Yeah. Oh, I can't attack the lightning one in front of me. <laughs> Kath can. Yay, Kath. Okay, can so... Oh, wait, can I make my wisdom? I never did that. Oh, yes, That's right. Make a, make a wisdom save, yes. Okay. Oh my gosh! Still it's fucked a up. One. Yes. <laughs> All right. So two attacks against Anura. Uh, one is a miss. One is a hit with a twenty-one. Mm hmm. So Anura, that is uh eight points of piercing. Guardian oh, coil. Okay. Subtract. That's just one. 
<laughs> seven points of piercing. Yeah. Uh, nice. I'm two. I'm only two hit points down. Ew. Yes. Two attacks against Adagio, uh, but first they both need to make wisdom saving throws. Um, one succeeds. The other one, with a shitty wisdom. Oh, but even shittier is spell safety. See, Amber, get your shit together. Um, so they both <laughs> succeed. So they're both making attacks against you, Adagio. Boarding flare on the first one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll just say that was the first roll, which is good because that's a natural five. Uh, and then the second was a natural three. You're just neo, neo, like oh. neo dodging this. Was really um, just attract. Didn't even need to. Yeah, that leaves uh, two attacks for Amber, uh, who is taking the dodge action. So these are both at disadvantage. Uh, is this? One is a uh, a miss. Second one is also a miss with a natural two. So those skeletons suck. Uh, okay, that brings us to. Uh, two attacks against Ilmay and three against Scorch. So first two against Ilmay. Uh, that is an 18 and a 19. Who? Sorry, I like... Are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I like cut out so I didn't... All I heard was an 18 and 19, but I figured it was me. Yeah. Did okay, I yeah. Those, those both hit all the uncanny dodge. One of them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the other one, can that be the lower one I'm going to subtract from? Sure. So subtract from the lower one. Uh, Uncanny Dodge brings the first attack to a three. A three. Nice. Uh, take six off of the lower one. And the second one deals no damage whatsoever. Yay. And then three attacks against Scorch. Oh, no. Natural 2, natural 6, and 1 natural 19. So that last one's going to hit for 8 points of piercing. She's still fine. That's the first time she's been hit all, all game. All right. Uh, that brings us to Eric's. Oh, that's me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh. She's like, wait a second. Wow, guys, that's <laughs> never happened to me before. It's almost you know how many? Oh Let's my goodness! Real, though, like it's fifteen minutes till midnight, Sammy. It's been a Holy session. Holy shit! That's really <laughs> funny to me. Wow, too many NPCs in this in this battle, guys. <laughs> Whew. Okay, he is going to uh, inspire Reagen. Take a D8 inspiration, Reagen. So I, I'm already inspired. Just kidding. Don't take a D8 inspiration. He's gonna inspire, uh, Who a, a, Alexios. Do you or uh, Adagio? Do you still have inspiration? I don't think so. I'm, All right, no. you're, you're getting inspiration, oh. Adagio. I used it on the dagger. I, think. I don't remember yeah. anymore. Yeah. All right, a D8, a D8 inspiration. Uh, all right, Alexios, you're up. Fucking mess. <laughs> no. How much movement is it to move through allies? Um, allies, it's, it's the same movement as it normally would be. Okay, so can I push past, or wait, I need the, can I push past, uh, these first two lines and then push past, like, uh, in between, like, nine and seven on this, uh, Yeah, so five, right 10, 15, 20, you'd pop out at, at, you, you would have used 25 movement to pop out behind nine or seven. Oh, oh. So, um, and then one more right here, and then I'm going to cast... Uh, Before that happens, caustic, 9 and 7 uh, do get attack opportunity against you. Cool. Uh, the higher one is an 18. That would hit. I have a question. Could I have that would hit that? Because he's right next to me, or can I? You flare used next warding round? flare on your turn. Like oh, you which used on that same it, round. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a, a fifteen and eighteen against you. Oh, the eighteen would hit. Okay, so that's gonna be uh seven points of piercing. Okay. Now what are you doing? Uh, caustic brew at sure. five and six. All right. Yes. Uh, one is a, a natural 17, and what's what's the type of save? 
dex. Uh, the other one is a nine. So one fails, one succeeds. Eight points of damage on whoever failed. Alrighty. That is number six who failed. So that is actually 16 points of damage. So that is enough for that one. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Sixteen. Sixteen. You are okay. Uh, all right. That brings us to Anura. Um, I'm going to cast. God, I don't like using the poison one because you save against it every time. <laughs> no, you haven't. It's just I just it's all or nothing, and I don't like yeah. that. Uh, I'm gonna cast poison spray at the one that's. Oh, will it be a disadvantage if it's right next to me? Is it a, a ranged spell attack? It's a 10-foot range. Does it say make a ranged spell attack? Or I guess it's a save. If it's a save, then no. It's not, I mean, no. It's fine. It's a save. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, yeah, then never mind. Yeah, I just thought about what I just said. Right. Yeah, I'm going to cast Poison Spray at number 8. Natural 3. All right, cool. Uh, seven and a ten, so seventeen points. Yeah, that is more than enough. Go ahead and make a wisdom save for me. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Yeah, you're totally fine. Okay, and so now when you're this in the happens, groove. Uh, I'm gonna use my movement since I have that space open now and go right here. Sure, not a problem. Uh, number five does get an attack opportunity against you. That's fine. What about seven? Uh, five seven and seven, actually, yeah. I am. Oh, seven already did it. oh yeah, seven, seven. You're right. Seven is yeah, his, yeah, his yeah. attack. Uh, but a natural seventeen is gonna hit Anora yeah. for six points of damage. Ooh. All right. It is I now. Yeah. yeah. It is now Keth's turn. Uh, and he is by a poison guy, so he's gonna just do a little poison spray. Which is gonna succeed. That's more like it. That's a uh, a thirteen points of damage, ha uh, double to twenty six. Um, great, but he killed another one, so he's still, he's like doing this through tears. He's like, oh god, why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, Riojin, you're up. Okay, so for me to move right here. Is that, because that would just be through uh, Amber? That's 15. Okay, so I'll do that. Yeah. And then I'm going to Lightning Bolt straight across. Um, Ooh. All right that. here. Okay, so number four is a natural 18. Fuck. Number nine, natural 20. Jesus Christ. <laughs> number five, natural 17. Are you okay. serious? All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's still kind of damage. Yeah, it still might be enough anyway. That one. Curl of power. So, 12, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40 points of damage. Oh, Jesus nice. Christ. But once again, I you... Three, I rolled four sixes, two fives, a four and a two. You are still, Dang. like so upset with what you're doing, but you know your friends will be mad at you if you don't continue doing this, so you're just slaughtering these poor, poor Ooh, skeletons. I like that. <laughs> Oops. Alright. It is now Scorch's turn. Uh, oh, uh... Yo, yeah, you want right, something else to do? Oh, yeah, um, for sure. I'm gonna move the tentacle over to uh, number eight up yeah, here. Yeah, go ahead. And he's gonna make an attack, so... So... 14, does that hit? That does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. And that's just a D8. So, four. Uh, it was it's... already injured, so that is actually all you need. Nice. Uh, and as this one dies, after the scream, you do hear in the distance the sound of a grate locking into place. Ah. All right. Are there more in the other rooms, though? Oh, God. <laughs> Scorch. Yeah, can you imagine? They're all just waiting for you on the other side of the room. Oh, God. Uh, 
Scorch. Uh, does anyone still need to be inspired? Anyone not have Please. inspiration right now? I'm not I don't. Feel, but give it to oh, me. Scorch is right next to you, Elmay. So she's gonna inspire you. She's gonna go. You're the one who can help us with all these skeletons. And she'll give you oh, a D8. Sure. Uh, and then she will cast Blade Ward on herself. Um, okay, Ilmay, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, attacking the number five. Go ahead. Uh, straight roll. Uh, I got a 15. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll the acid damage. <laughs> One. So two points of damage to it. Chipping away. So <laughs> can I roll my uh, wisdom save to uh, see if I break the? Yes, you can. Yes. Oh yes! Uh, so a natural seventeen plus four. So All right. You're finally feeling a bit like yourself again. Uh, Adagio, you're up. Um. Oh, I can't do anything anymore. I'm just gonna take the action to dodge. And then my bonus action to Shield of Shield of Faith. Oh, sure. What's the name of it? Sure, Shield of Faith, Ilme. Uh, what's the range on Shield of Faith? Actually, I have no idea, but I'm on dodge, so I can move closer if I. Let me see. Uh, sixty feet. Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh, that's fine. So Ilme, uh, so the uh, the mad. Uh, Phaeton and all that disappear, but now, Ilme, you have a plus two to your AC. Uh, Alright. Amber's turn. Uh, not really much need for Amber to be here anymore. So she's just gonna shift out of harm's way. And out of everyone else's way. <laughs> um, okay. Skelly's turn. And I have to say I took a step here. Where? Literally just one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> They're just right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, uh, Skelly's aren't going to move, but Purple Seven's going to attack you, Adagio. Warding Flame? Or is that still this round? Yeah, I can yeah. never remember. You, it, it recharges after your turn, so you can Warding Flare that. Wait. Wow. No, I can't. I've used way too many today. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I okay. forget these have charges. I, I've yeah, yes. used all three. I've used so, all three. So, <laughs> that is a natural 19, so that's going to hit. Oh, ew. So six points of damage to you. Oh. Uh, and then there's going to be two skelly attacks against you, Ilmay. Uh, one's a natural 20. One is a 15. I'm candy dodge. I'm, I'm candy dodging the 20. Does a 15 hit? No, it does not. Okay, so uncannying, un uncannying that dodge. <laughs> uh, you've got... Uh, it's going to be four points of damage after the uncanny dodge. And then one against Scorch at disadvantage. And it's a five. All right. That brings us to Eric's, who is me. And definitely, definitely me. Um, <laughs> he's used all of his inspiration. Um, so he's just going to come up to this last purple one. And... Use Mantle of Majesty and just say, Cower. Let's see if it saves. Uh, it does not save, so this skeleton immediately just drops to the floor. Or I guess it, it will on its turn. Uh, Alexios, you're up. I am moving to here. And I am going to use. Cassius Caustic Brute. Sure. Number five is a... What's, this, what's the type of save? Sorry. Dex. Uh, 16. That, that, that passes. And number two is a uh, 12. That does not. Go ahead. Oh. Wow. I just threw my dice off. The tray. Sorry. <laughs> that was a really aggressive roll. Uh, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage to number two, which already took a ton of damage, so go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Um, 
11. Wait, you... there's more. Inspiration? Yes. 16? 16, you're all right. Okay. All right. But wait, there's more, got me. <laughs> Can Adora, I roll you're for up. Kai, see if he's still like. Oh, yeah, sure. You're both for Kai. Okay. Am I up next? I don't remember. Yes, Anura, you're up. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move here. Okay. And I'm going to cast Primal Savagery. Shoot. Go ahead and make your attack with advantage. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a 13 plus 8. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. That's I don't remember what the damage is. 2d12. No, 2d10. Yeah. Uh, 9 plus 7. 16. Yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom save for me. That is uh, 17. Math is yeah. Fine. So not only do you kill this one, you are you still feel completely in your mind, and you hear the sound of the great closing in the next room. All right. Uh, that is, it's now Keth's turn, who is eyeing this last poison guy. Um, and he will use his last first level slot to do Ray of Sickness. Oh no, he's still fucked up, so he's gonna, he's gonna do Poison Spray instead. And it succeeds on Poison Spray, so he actually, he actually doesn't do anything to it. Um, all right. Uh, Ryujin. Okay, quickly, can I yell out? Or do I remember? Does anyone else have lightning? Uh, Keth does. Keth does. But Keth can't use it right now, right? Yeah, he yeah. just used his, his... He wasted his turn, basically. Okay. Uh, so... I am going to move right here. And... So, I'm going to let Kai take my action. Okay. You're going to have Kai attack? Yeah, the the last purple one. Sure. Go ahead with so, disadvantage. And let me just bring up Kai's stats. With disadvantage? Yeah, because he's still fucked up with the, the curse. Okay, well, first one's uh, 18. Second one yeah. is... Another 18? What the fuck? Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> um, Okay, so that's... The normal damage isn't going to matter, so the 3D... Yeah, just the poison damage. Uh, 10. Okay. Uh, ten. 10 points of poison, double to 20, is going to be enough. So he's going, I can't believe you're making me do this! <laughs> and stabs it, <laughs> dissolves it, and you hear the sound of the purple grate close... There is now a single skeleton remaining. And it I can scorches. get it in two yeah. turns. <laughs> <laughs> it is Scorch's turn, and she can do nothing, so she's just going to disengage as an action and get the fuck out of there. And start heading down the hallway. Uh, that brings us to Ilmay. Okay, uh, literally it was going to do the same thing Scorch did, except I'm going to use, I'm going to get really You can go way far. faster. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using my uh, dash, and I'm going a weird way, because I, well, I, I'm trying to avoid not getting, to use sure, my disengage. Sure. He, he could still hit me, though. I don't care. He can you hit can, me. You could get wants. to this, without hitting, without him hitting you, you could get to the spot Scorch is at with 30 feet. Okay, cool. 30, 40, and then to, that was 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then I'll use uh, the dash action again. <laughs> I'll get okay. really far ahead. Triple dash. Holy shit. Woo! That's what <laughs> oh Elmay's character is based on. Let me scroll okay, down. Barry oh, Allen. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Send us a postcard from wherever you're going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adagio, you're up. Uh, can't run far, but I'm a run. Five, sure. ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty-five, thirty. 
Boop. We're just gonna stand here. <laughs> and you can use your action to dash if you'd like. That's right. I'm not doing anything. Oh, wait, does anyone look injured in this room? Not terribly injured. Okay, hurt. I'm gonna keep going. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, seventy-five, thirty. Alrighty. Uh, Amber's turn. Uh, Amber is just gonna retreat with Keth over here, just in case. Uh, Skelly's turn. Skelly's gonna make one final attack against Scorch. Oh no. The natural nine, so no one cares. Uh, Eric's turn. Eric will also 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and take the attack of opportunity. Natural 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Well, he'll be here. Uh, all right, Alexios, you're up. I am... I am moving towards the door. I'd say right here next to Nora, and I am going to call Forge as close to me as I can. Sure. Go ahead and move him. Um, all right, Anora, you're up. I, I am... How is everyone looking as far as, like, hit points? Is everyone still good, right? Everyone's basically okay. I have okay. any damage, and I still have inspiration and all eight of the temporary hit points. <laughs> well, cause I'm like, Amazing what I'm... happens when you guys prepare for... Yes. <laughs> right. We had no clue what was going to happen. I know. That's. Um, I don't blame you. Because what I was going to say was I could just do that, but like, there's no fucking reason. I don't know. I'm still going to hang out here in case shit goes sideways somehow. Sure. Because that would be our luck. Um, I'm going to cast Aura Vitality. Okay. At third level. And is there anybody in this room who actually needs to be healed? Like, or anybody I can see who needs to be healed. Um, Keth is okay. Amber Amber took some damage, but she's still okay. Um, Scorch, same deal. Okay. Yeah, everyone's everyone's still okay. So I'm just gonna, because I can cast it within 30 feet of myself, I'm gonna cast it right next to Scorch. Okay. So Scorch is gonna get back... Oh, wait a minute, let me make sure I read this right real quick. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, as my bonus action, uh, Scorch is going to get back 2d6, so Scorch gets back 5 hit points. Okay. And then the starry form gives me additional 1d8 plus 4 to heal with to anybody I can see, so Amber is going to get back 10 hit points. All right. Everyone's looking real good. All right, that brings us to Keth's turn. He's eyeing that last guy. He's going to move up here and cast Lightning Lure. So the skeleton needs to make a strength check with a natural four. So it is pulled 10 feet in a straight line right to him and takes 1d8 lightning damage. Oh, so two points of damage. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Hey, he can at least do his wisdom save now. It's true. He can. Fails. Natural immediately. five. Yep. <laughs> Reagent. All you. Um, I am going to. Uh. <laughs> All right. Can I Eldritch Blast the skeleton to push it ten feet away? Um, just for, just for shits and giggles. And then, um, actually, no, never mind. I'm going to use my action to use my Pearl of Power. Because I haven't done that yet. To regain, uh, one spell slot. Okay. And then, I will move right here and as my bonus action i will move the tentacle right there and that is it can i roll for kai yes <laughs> right. and yourself and myself nice, nice let nice. the poor boys come back <laughs> i love that region could have ended this right 17 now. <laughs> for kai yeah kai's okay 
And also, I have no more spell slots, or else I would have cast Lightning Bolt. Oh, um, I see, I see. That's I why see. I took the Pearl of Power, so I can do it next turn. That's why I said I need two turns. Gotcha. Um, and for myself, uh, 23. All right, you guys are both okay. All right, and that's my turn. All right. Uh, I, I will say, because this skeleton is not much of a threat to you guys, um, we can just go... Kath's turn, Ryujin's turn, and see who kills him. <laughs> there we go, that works. Yeah. Alright. Kath is gonna uh, cast Lightning Lore again. Cocked. Uh, that's gonna do it. For 8 points of damage. Hell Still yeah. up. Looks like Still, up. Him. Still up. Still up. Yep, Ryujin, all you. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm a Lightning Bolt. <laughs> lightning Bolt him. No. <laughs> Uh, so no a DC way. 15 is what I need to save. Uh, I'm wasting a spell slot on this one. Seven. Like, yeah, you just killed a puppy with Adam. Ryujin, <laughs> take your moment. <laughs> all right, all right. So here's what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to hold out my trident. My eyes are going to flare with lightning like Thor, okay? The trident's going to act as like like a... Conduit? Like, yes. <laughs> hold down. Um, <laughs> so 12... 18, 20, incinerated, uh, 25, 28. It's He's like, it's like after, after a crazy explosion where like you see the silhouette of the body on the wall in ash. <laughs> That's what happens to this poor, poor skeleton. You see the shape <laughs> of the skeleton on the wall after it just dissolves into dust. I feel um, like as that bad. happens. <laughs> As everyone else has been making their way into the actual skeleton chamber as this has been going on, you see the final grate close with finality. And you're in this giant room with the five grates and the single wooden pole in the center of the room. You see, near the center of the room, a bloodied, uh, very much dead Qatar. And you as you... As, as the... Great closes, you also hear a as all around the the stone around that central pillar begins to shift until you see this descending spiral staircase emerge with the central pillar as its fulcrum. And that's where we'll end tonight's episode. Because uh, really it's very crazy. late. I'm sorry yeah. it was a, a very late episode, but I didn't want to end in the middle of that fight because it was it was awesome. It was fun. Um, thank you guys question. for joining us. Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, we will see you next week for whatever the hell this group decides to do. Uh, friends, this episode will go up on YouTube on Thursday. Until then, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, so <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.